Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Dragon Ball Saiyan Knows Martial Arts. Chapter 1. Dao, 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 you are so big. A young Taoist priest of 17 or 18 years old in the Taoist Buddhist temple dropped the scripture in his hand with an irritated look. As if he still wasn't relieved, he stood up and stomped on the scriptures. This little Taoist priest's name is Dong Wu. Because he has no seniority, his Taoist name is not quiet, and he was sent to the mountains since he was a child. You must know that it is very difficult to become a Taoist priest or monk nowadays. Not only do you need academic qualifications, but you also need to take a qualification certificate, which is no worse than taking the civil service exam, or even more difficult. But Dong Wu is an exception. He is a nearby villager. Both of his parents died when he was young, and he lived with his grandmother. But his grandmother also died of illness when he was six years old. Seeing his pity, the old Taoist leader took him to the mountain gate and became a little Taoist priest. This is 12 years. Today Dong Wu is 18 years old. However, the age of 17 or 18 is the age when you are rebellious and restless. How can you remain calm while sitting and meditating all day, chanting sutras and cultivating your mind? He behaved like this only when he was restless. Forget it, let's go watch TV. Dong Wu shook his head, picked up the scriptures, and turned on the computer. Don't think that Taoist temples don't have modern supplies. In fact, monks nowadays are also keeping pace with the times. Not only are there computers, but there are also mobile phones and TVs. Dragon Ball Super, a sequel to Seven Dragon Ball. Dong Wu regained his energy. He has loved these passionate things since he was a child, including martial arts dramas and hot-blooded animations. Among them, Dragon Ball is one of his favorite cartoons especially when Frieza transforms into Super Saiyan, it's exciting. However, when Dong Wu saw Golden Frieza and Super Sailor Blue, he lost his composure. In four months the combat power has increased from more than 100 million to surpassing Super Saiyan 3. And that Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue, are you going to use red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue and purple? I can't complain, infinite heavenly lord, it is a sin for a poor Taoist to utter dirty words. Not only Dong Wu, but probably many Dragon Ball fans who have watched Dragon Ball 7 will feel helpless to complain after watching Dragon Ball Super. He hasn't seen the back yet. If he sees that Master Roshi is close to 50 to 50 with Super Saiyan Blue, he will probably spit out a mouthful of blood three feet away. But even so, Dong Wu was already so depressed that he wanted to hit someone. Don't watch it. What the hell? It's not as good as Dragon Ball GT. With that, Dong Wu was about to turn off the computer. But suddenly I heard something hitting me, accompanied by shouts and curses. Little fool, you are lazy when I ask you to chant sutras and meditate. Let's see if I don't kill you. An old Taoist puffed his beard and glared, picked up the scripture Dong Wu casually threw on the table and smashed it. Despite his age, the veteran Taoist is quite agile and his shots are fast and accurate. The scriptures went straight to Dong Wu's head. The speed of reading the scriptures was such that if he smashed them hard without breaking his head and bleeding, it would at least be a big bag. However, Dong Wu's reaction was not slow and he raised his hand to block it in front of him. Bang, the scripture hit his hand, making a loud sound. Dong Wu laughed when he saw it. This scene has been staged countless times. Old man, look at my dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong. Dong Wu shouted, raised his hand and punched the old Taoist priest. Yes, you read that right. It's the dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong. It is said that this skill came from Tibet and was spread to the central plains by a Tibetan Lama during the Song and Yuan dynasties. The Lama discussed Taoism with Taoist practitioners in Zongyan Mountain, but lost to the Taoist leader at that time. Later, this skill gradually spread in Zongyan Mountain and became a popular commodity. This skill has the same name as Jin Lun F.A. Wang's Kung Fu in Jin Yang's martial arts novels, and even the efficacy and difficulty are similar. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not. However, Dong Wu took a fancy to its power, so he resolutely chose this skill. However, it has been more than 10 years since I practiced it and it has not achieved the legendary effect. However, the power is still much greater. His skills are also quite good. You dare to attack me, you brat. If you don't get spanked today, I'll call you master. The old Taoist blows his beard and glares. He raises and pulls his hand, 
using a Tai Chi pulling method to bring out the power of Dong Wu's fist. Partial. Then with a pull, Dong Wu was involuntarily pulled in front of the old Taoist priest. This is not the Tai Chi we watch on TV, this is real Tai Chi. What was shown on TV was that after 1949, it was uniformly adapted by the National Sports Commission for use in gymnastics, performances, and sports competitions for physical fitness. After China's reform and opening up, some parts of it were restored to their original appearance, thus they were further divided into Tai Chi for martial arts competitions, Tai Chi for gymnastics, and Tai Chi push hands. It can be said that even Tai Chi used for martial arts, Tai Chi exercises used for gymnastics and Tai Chi push hands are not authentic Tai Chi. They are all adapted and partially restored boxing techniques. The old Taoist master uses the authentic and original version of Taoist Tai Chi. The back is terrible. Dong Wu was really spanked until her butt blossomed. The old man hit me again. Wait, when I hit you, I will pull out all your beard. Ouch, this old man is so old and he can still hit you so well. Dong Wu rubbed his hands. But, keep repeating it over and over again. What did you say, little? Although Dong Wu whispered, the old Taoist priest was really sharp and he immediately turned around and looked at Dong Wu with squinted eyes. No, it's nothing. I said master is really old and strong, old and brave, old. Dong Wu said while retreating, but he didn't want to be beaten again. Well, that's pretty much it. The old Taoist leader left with satisfaction. Ha, huh, it was really dangerous. I almost got beaten again. Dong Wu wiped the cold sweat guiltily. However, although the old Taoist priest often beat him, but I was really nice to him and really cared about him. Taoism and Buddhism are of the Quanjun lineage and cannot marry and have children. The old Taoist priest had no heirs in his life and always treated Dong Wu as his grandson. The beaten Dong Wu looked at the abandoned computer and stepped forward to kick it. However, the computer is plugged into a power cord. Ah, Dong Wu screamed and could no longer make any sound. If you are electrocuted, your whole body will be paralyzed, making it impossible to call for help. The old Taoist priest heard Dong Wu's screams, but thought that Dong Wu had been beaten, so he didn't take it seriously. After all, this situation has happened countless times. In this way, Dong Wu was electrocuted to death for no apparent reason. It wasn't until someone discovered Dong Wu who had been electrocuted into carbon ash that the old Taoist priest buried Dong Wu sadly. We have been together day and night for more than 10 years, and we have been raised like a grandson since childhood. Nowadays, a white-haired person gives a black-haired person a gift. You can imagine how sad the old Taoist priest is. At this time, Dong Wu was already lying in a small glass cover. What the hell, are you being treated as a guinea pig? Dong Wu opened his eyes and looked at the glass cover with a feeling of sadness in his heart. This situation is very similar to the guinea pig on TV. But soon Dong Wu discovered something was wrong. This, I've become a baby. Dong Wu opened his mouth in surprise and turned his head hurriedly. What catches the eye are glass covers with little babies inside. And the strange thing is that all the babies have a monkey-like tail on their butt. Sai, Saiyan, I am the Taoist patriarch of the Sanqing dynasty, the Jade Emperor, Guanyin Bodhisattva, and Master Kong. What is going on? Dong Wu's mouth opened wide, and his mind was in a blur. Dong Wu, who had just watched Seven Dragon Ball, could only be so familiar with the situation in front of him. Calm down, calm down. The most important thing now is to figure out when it is and how long it will be until Frieza destroys planet Vegeta. Dong Wu forced himself to calm down. Perhaps the frequent meditation and Zen practice played a role. Dong Wu quickly calmed down and began to pay attention to the information around him. Maybe Saiyan is different or technologically advanced. Dong Wu's mind was filled with all kinds of information, including needs and combat skills. Soon, Dong Wu figured out the approximate time. Vegeta is not born yet, but the queen is pregnant. If the queen is pregnant with Vegeta, it will be about half a year before Vegeta is born. It's been more than five years, maybe six years, since planet Vegeta was destroyed. Ha, huh, luckily there is still five or six years of buffering time. Then I will find a chance to leave planet Vegeta. Dong Wu breathed a sigh of relief, feeling a little more at ease. In five or six years, I must work hard to practice. I will strive to have enough strength, otherwise I may be set off fireworks at some point. Dong Wu thought of this, and his eyes showed a perseverance. 
Old man, although you beat me often. But now that I'm gone, I don't know who will make you so angry and stare, or who will beat your ass. You have taken care of me for so many years, and I know that you regard me as my grandson, but now I can't support you until you die, so you must take care of yourself. Suddenly, he thought of the old Taoist Dong Wu again, and tears flowed out of the corners of his eyes unconsciously. But don't worry, old man, I won't be naughty anymore. I will definitely live well, no matter which world I am in. Dong Wu slowly closed his eyes. A baby's body is easily tired. Time flies by, and a month has passed in the blink of an eye. This month, Dong Wu has not seen his parents, and no one has come to see him. It was as if he didn't exist at all. However, one day a month later, someone unexpected to Dong Wu suddenly came to the nursery, King Vegeta. That eye-catching hairstyle is hard to recognize. Perhaps his own child was about to be born, so he was more concerned about the new Saiyan baby and the condition of the nursery. Come to the nursery in person and ask about the situation. What is the potential of these newborns? Are there any with better talents? King Vegeta asked calmly. As a king, King Vegeta is still very scheming. His own child was about to be born, so he wanted to find some powerful followers for his child to ensure that his son would successfully succeed him in the future. Of course, it doesn't work if the potential is too high or the strength is too strong. Threatening his and his son's status, Brawley will be an example in the future. Therefore, Dong Wu is both looking forward to and fearing, looking forward to his unlimited potential, but also afraid of being rejected by King Vegeta. Under Dong Wu's restless and uneasy mood, the alien responsible for taking care of the baby hurriedly replied. Back to King Vegeta, these babies have very high potential, and are of better quality than the babies in previous years. For example, Parrot's son Giles referring to Dong Wu, he was born with a combat power of up to 900. Giles means genius, because Saiyan doesn't have a last name, so the name is relatively random. However, the word genius still illustrates his parents' expectations of him. And with a combat power of up to 900 since birth, he can definitely be called a genius. You must know that Vegeta is known as the genius closest to the legendary Saiyan. He was born with only 1000 combat power, some say it is 700, but here is a thousand. However, King Vegeta's eyes flashed with a cold light when he heard Dong Wu's fighting prowess. It happened to be noticed by Dong Wu. That's murderous intent. Although he had never seen it before, Dong Wu knew that King Vegeta had murderous intent towards him. No wonder the Saiyan, as a fighting nation, only has this little strength, with a maximum fighting strength of only 10 or 20,000. A king with such jealousy and lack of strength cannot be strong at all. Even a genius will be killed by him. Dong Wu I was very nervous inside. This is not unfounded, and it is not surprising when you think about King Vegeta's legacy Brawley. Brawley was born with a fighting strength of 10,000, which seriously threatened King Vegeta and Vegeta's rule. Although he knew that he could lead Saiyan to prosperity, he still killed him without hesitation. Although Dong Wu has not yet been able to threaten King Vegeta, Dong Wu's talent still makes King Vegeta feel murderous. After all, King Vegeta did not have such strong fighting ability when he was born. It's just that Dong Wu is still young. Although he is a genius, his combat power is less than 1000. Compared to King Vegeta's combat power of 10,000, it is still far behind, and it is far from being a threat. That's why King Vegeta didn't kill Dong Wu immediately. After all, potential is just potential, and combat effectiveness is real power. This batch of babies is indeed very good. It seems that our Saiyan will become even more powerful. King Vegeta said excitedly, but his eyes were always fixed on Dong Wu. It made Dong Wu feel like there was a light on his back, like a prey being targeted by a hunter. But unknown to others, a group of aliens began to flatter King Vegeta, and even said that God specially sent this group of genius babies to assist the future King Vegeta. Despite being so flattering, King Vegeta looked so comfortable when he was photographed that the corners of his mouth curled up unconsciously. Maybe others don't think so, but Dong Wu never feels safe. After all, murder is not illegal in this world. No, it seems I can't wait a few years before leaving. I have to leave here as soon as possible, otherwise my life may be at risk. During those years when Dong Wu was a young Taoist priest, he still had some understanding of dangers and scheming. So he began planning his escape. 
full moon night, Dong Wu suddenly thought of a perfect opportunity to escape. Whenever there is a full moon, Saiyan will transform into a gorilla and lose his mind. Although not everyone can look at the moon, and not all Saiyans will lose their minds, the chances are still much greater. But when he thought about planet Vegeta's full moon, which happens only once every eight years, Dong Wu suddenly felt pain in his balls. Because he is not sure when the next full moon will be. King Vegeta shouldn't be able to kill me in the short term. After all, my strength can't threaten him. And when his genius son with a combat power of 1000 is born, he should be more at ease. But this is always just a guess. Let's find a way to escape first. Even if King Vegeta doesn't kill me, this week won't last long. Five years, five years from now Frieza will destroy this planet. We must escape within these five years and wipe out the traces. There is no point in thinking hard. What a great idea, Dong Wu was a little scratching his head. But the next words from King Vegeta brought hope to Dong Wu. It can be said that King Vegeta gave him an excellent opportunity to escape. Keep the babies with good strength and potential in planet Vegeta for training, and send all the low-level warriors to low-level planets on the edge. King Vegeta said indifferently. But his words made Dong Wu's eyes light up, yeah, just take the opportunity to escape to the edge planet. As soon as he thought of it, Dong Wu began to plan how to escape to the edge planet. He thought of two methods. One was to kill a lower-level warrior baby and then pretend to be his. Another one is that he takes advantage of the opportunity to directly enter the spaceship of other babies and go to other planets with other babies. Dong Wu chose the second option without hesitation, instead of Dong Wu being a bad guy. But he didn't want to kill anyone for no reason, and he was still a baby. Second, it is not necessary. Since we can live together, why must one of us die? Think carefully, and then Dong Wu starts to make plans and wait for the opportunity. This wait lasted for half a year until the day Vegeta was born. All Saiyans are congratulating King Vegeta for his sensational talent. As soon as he goes out, he has a thousand combat power, which Saiyan has not seen in hundreds of years. Sensation means high attention, and Dong Wu knew that his opportunity had come. While everyone was celebrating King Vegeta, Dong Wu took the opportunity to enter a female Saiyan baby's spaceship and entered a state of hibernation together. It's not that Dong Wu had any ideas, but that this was the only baby that was distributed today. Everything was ready but Dong Fang was waiting for the alien slave to launch a spaceship and send Dong Wu and the Saiyan girl away together. Boom, Dong Wu, who had entered a dormant state, didn't know how long it had passed before he was suddenly awakened by a violent crash. At the same time, Saiyan's little baby girl also woke up. This is the destination, Puluo Star, right? The people on this planet are really weak. Although Dong Wu can't feel the strength of Qi yet, he can still feel the strength. Although he didn't know the specific combat power of this planet, Dong Wu felt that he could kill a large area with one finger. Wow wow wow. Just as Dong Wu was deep in thought, the little baby girl started crying loudly. It seemed that she was hungry. Judging from the spacecraft settings, it should take two years to get from planet Vegeta to planet Pulu. Saiyan must be starving after not eating for two years. Of course, Dong Wu and the little baby have been in a state of dormancy for the past two years, but it is not really two years of hunger. So much so that for two years, Dong Wu and this little baby had almost no change in terms of strength or body. Since I escaped in your spaceship, it's equivalent to being saved by you. I will take care of you from now on. Dong Wu smiled and touched the baby girl's face. Then remove the baby girl's combat power detector. All Saiyan babies sent out through regular channels have detectors. Only people like Dong Wu who crossed the border illegally and people like Kakarot, Son Goku who were sent out by his father in the chaos were not. I'm here to see what the fighting power of the people on this planet is compared to the baby girl and I. Dong Wu first looked at the baby girl's fighting power and then scratched his head speechlessly. The combat power is only 6, which is only a little stronger than the 5 scum. I guess besides Son Goku, you are the second to last in a thousand years. Dong Wu thought speechlessly. It's not that Dong Wu looks down on people who are born with poor combat power. When Son Goku was born, his combat power was only 2 points, and he still didn't become the number 1 in the universe. The little baby girl's combat power is 6 points, which is better than Kakarot. 
As long as you are willing to work hard and keep pushing your limits, everything is possible. What really makes Dong Wu speechless is, is it really okay to send babies with such weak combat capabilities to other planets to cause destruction? No wonder the number of Saiyans has not been increasing. I don't know how many Saiyan babies in Tima have died on alien planets. Look at the people on this planet. Hey, their combat power is pretty good. They all have about 20 points, and the strongest one has reached 1200 points. Dong Wu raised the corner of his mouth slightly. He's less of a threat. I was born with 900 combat power points. Although I have never practiced, my combat power should not be less than 1000 points. Dong Wu thought in his mind. This is not a boast. In fact, even if Saiyan does not practice, his combat effectiveness will increase with age. Of course, not everyone is brawly, not that perverted, doubling every year. But there are still different growths due to the same talent. Especially babies and young children grow faster. Not to mention Saiyan, even Earthlings' combat power will increase from babies to adults. Dd Dd. 1100 points, not bad. Looking at the value on the detector, Dong Wu nodded and thought to himself. Dong Wu put down the detector and prepared to look for prey. After all, he was really hungry. The little baby girl needs to eat even more. She cries from hunger even without looking at her. However, Dong Wu learned from the original work that you should not rely too much on the detector, otherwise you will become dependent and affect your senses. Picking up the little baby girl, Dong Wu quickly flew towards a forest. Don't ask me why Dong Wu can fly. The information transmitted by Saiyan contains the application of Qi in this aspect. If it is a little baby girl, you will find that she still has the mission she was sent here in her mind. Soon, many large prey appeared in front of Dong Wu in the forest. However, although it is large in size, its combat power is pitifully weak. Basically, there are no more than 100, which is no pressure for Dong Wu. One key blast killed an animal similar to an earth boar, but much larger, about the same size as an elephant. The combat effectiveness is also much stronger, estimated at 60 or 70 points. There is no milk here, so I have to force you to eat solid food directly. Dong Wu lit a fire to roast the unknown creature, and thought silently while looking at the baby girl in his arms. Soon, the fragrant barbecue was successful. Although it was a little burnt, it didn't affect eating. The baby girl who had just fallen asleep in Dong Wu's arms suddenly opened her big round eyes when she smelled the fragrance, and struggled to stretch out her two fleshy little hands to grab the barbecue. Dong Wu was speechless after watching this. Sure enough, Saiyan is a foodie. If this were on the original Earth, he would have been abducted by some bad brat. Dong Wu complained silently. Seeing the baby girl's eager look, Dong Wu tore off a piece of meat and fed it to the baby girl bit by bit. The baby girl refused to accept anyone who came, and soon half of the wild boar was eaten by the baby girl. Dong Wu was stunned. Where did this food go? My belly is still the same and not bulging at all. The little baby girl who had eaten and drank enough didn't care what Dong Wu thought. As soon as she closed her eyes, she fell asleep in Dong Wu's arms. Dong Wu could only smile bitterly. There was no choice but to hold the little girl in his arms while Dong Wu ate. But soon he found out where the little baby girl had eaten. Because most of the remaining wild boars were taken care of without any feeling. It was as if my stomach was a bottomless pit. After eating the food, Dong Wu began to think about the future. We need to reach the earth as soon as possible. Although the people on earth are not good at fighting, they have developed the application and realm of combat power to the extreme. Go to the earth to see the way of cultivation in this world, and then combine it with the martial arts theory of the original world to summarize a set of methods for the protagonist. Dong Wu has already had an idea, but he can't do it yet. First, the spacecraft is running out of fuel, and I don't know if it can fly to the Earth. Second, he knew that all Saiyan spaceships had trackers installed by Frieza, and the combat power detectors also had eavesdropping functions. He must solve these problems before he can go to Dragon Ball Earth. Let's practice on this planet for a while first, and see if the martial arts from the original Earth can be effective here. Having made up his mind, Dong Wu began to practice the Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong. There are a total of 13 levels of Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong, each level is twice the previous level, this article is set this way, please don't take it too seriously. 
It is rumored that after practicing to the 10th level, you will have the power of 10 dragons and 10 elephants. The 11th level has the power of 20 dragons and 20 elephants, and so on. In other words, one dragon and one elephant are not added to each layer. Moreover, these powers are purely physical. And this is still the original world. In this world, the power will be stronger. Because of the different power systems, no matter how powerful a person was on the original earth, they could only crack monuments and crack rocks at most, but here, let alone overwhelming mountains and seas, even destroying the planet can be done with a snap of the finger. No one knows what specific effects it will have. Long Shang Boruo Kung Fu is a pure physical training martial art that does not even produce internal force. At most, it produces an internal force similar to internal force from the inside out, but in the final analysis it is still force. I don't know what effect it will have in this world. Quote. Dong Wu began to practice step by step according to the exercise postures and key points of the first level. The first level of the dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong is, elephant, which can be achieved even by those with stupid qualifications in one or two years. It will be shorter for those with good qualifications. As a Saiyan, Dong Wu's physical qualifications are absolutely top-notch. As for understanding, it's hard to say, because understanding has nothing to do with intelligence. However, does Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong require understanding? No, as long as you follow the steps step by step, it will take enough time to complete. Moreover, coupled with Dong Wu's physical strength, it is absolutely impossible to fail. Sure enough, as soon as Dong Wu started practicing Longxiang Boruo Gong, he felt that his body was constantly experiencing strength and changes. Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong is a martial arts that strengthens the body and enhances potential. In other words, Chinese Orthodox martial arts have health preserving effects. Dong Wu could clearly feel me, and his body was strengthening rapidly. Dong Wu has a feeling that it will definitely take less than a month to complete the first level of Long Shang Bo Ruo Gong, or even shorter. Saiyan's physique is so much stronger compared to the original world that it is impossible to compare. No, it's not just that my body has strengthened. Even my chi is growing. What's going on? Suddenly, a powerful force emerged from deep in his body. This force was very familiar to Dong Wu. It was the power of chi in this world. Long Shang Bo Ruo Gong is a pure bodybuilding martial art, how can it enhance Qi? Dong Wu couldn't understand. But it's not surprising, everyone will see Dragon Ball from beginning to end. Saiyan's method of increasing his strength is to squeeze his body as hard as he can. This is true for weight bearing and gravity chambers. This world is very strange. As long as the physical strength increases, the Qi will increase accordingly. Saiyan's various weight-bearing exercises are designed to strengthen the body and passively increase qi. There are no internal skills or breathing guidance techniques found in the original Chinese. The only thing that is somewhat similar may be Piccolo's meditation. Therefore, it is normal for Dong Wu to practice Longxiang Boruo Gong to strengthen his body and promote the growth of qi. These are the rules of this world. Even if you don't practice any martial arts, just bearing weight to strengthen your body, your qi will increase. Dong Wu couldn't figure it out, so he stopped thinking about it and quickly practiced the Longxiang Boruo Gong. In fact, Dong Wu would not dare to practice like Sun Goku and Vegeta in the original work. Although Dong Wu really enjoys watching Seven Dragon Ball, the fighting and strength in it are also fascinating. However, I really don't care about the cultivation methods inside. Constantly squeezing the body, tapping the body's potential, and even blackmailing the potential. Fortunately, Saiyan's body in this world is strong enough, otherwise he would have collapsed long ago. In fact, there are many examples, such as Klin. In Namek, Klin's strength can barely keep up. But after coming back from Namek, I couldn't even see the rear lights at all. This is because as an earthling, Krillin's physical potential is not as good as Saiyan's, and he has unlimited potential to tap into it, but never thinks about supplementing and enhancing it. Leading to overdraft of potential. Dong Wu is confident that if he travels through time and becomes an earthling, he will definitely go further than this strongest earthling. This is the difference between enhanced potential and unlimited overdraft. Some practice made Dong Wu feel refreshed and her body was slightly strengthened, but her energy was definitely enhanced a lot. It's time to cook for the little girl, but before that, I need to give the little girl a name. After thinking about it, Dong Wu decided to name the little girl Dong La. 
I hope the little girl can be happy. Thinking of Saiyan's natural bad temper, Dong Wu felt that the name Dong La might not be possible. After casually hunting a large prey, Dong Wu roasted it and took Dong La to eat. To be honest, Saiyan doesn't really have much requirements for eating this piece. It doesn't matter if it tastes good or not, as long as the portion is large. After eating and drinking to satisfy his appetite, Dong Wu picked up the detector. Look how much the combat effectiveness has increased. After a beep beep, a value was fixed at 1,600 points. Hiss, one practice has enhanced it by 500 points. Dong Wu took a breath of cold air. Horrible, really terrible. You must know that when Son Goku's brother Raditz arrived on Earth, Son Goku and Piccolo only had more than 400 combat points. Son Goku has been practicing since he was a child, but he didn't grow as much as Dong Wu did in one practice. 1,600 points. With this combat power and my physical strength, I should be invincible on this planet. It's time to give Lele a good growing environment. Dong Wu thought that he didn't care, he couldn't let the little girl follow yourself like a savage. Hiding the universe spacecraft, Dong Wu took Dong Le and flew towards the person with the highest combat effectiveness. That is the person with 1200 combat power points. Take a look at the martial arts of this planet and inquire about the news and technological level. Dong Wu's combat power is 1006 and his flying speed is quite fast. Two hours later, Dong Wu took Dong Le to the place with the highest combat power on the planet. Proexing Martial Arts Academy is the word on the sign. This is another strange thing about the Dragon Ball world. The entire universe, or even all universes, speak the same way. Say important things three times. It's better to have a combat power of more than 1000 and barely enter the intermediate planet. Dong Wu learned from memory the classification of planets by Frieza's forces. 1000 is the dividing line between low level and intermediate level planets. The maximum combat power of Puluo Star is 1002, which is barely considered an intermediate planet. Along the way, the technology of this planet is pretty good. I hope I can add fuel to the universe spacecraft. Dong Wu thought as he walked into the Puoxing Martial Arts Academy. Entering the Martial Arts Academy, the first thing you see is dozens of big men practicing martial arts. Sitting at the top is a slightly older middle-aged and elderly man. According to the age of the original Earth, he should be about 50 years old. The fighting power of the people here is very good on this planet. And the person at the top is the strongest, with a fighting power of 1002. Dong Wu looked at the middle-aged and elderly people. Although he was not young, his spirit was bright. A pair of small eyes are bright and lively. Dong Wu looked at the old man, and the old man was also looking at Dong Wu. Breaking in without your permission is something no one would dare to do in Proexing. This big baby came in with a small baby in his arms. It looked weird no matter how you looked at it. Sorry to bother you, my name is Dong Wu, and I'm here to challenge you. Dong Wu looked at the old man and said calmly. Sorry to bother you, I'm here to challenge you. Dong Wu looked at the old man and said calmly. The words were calm and without any ripples. Dong Wu said nothing, and neither did the old man. Although he didn't know why Dong Wu came to challenge as a baby, he didn't know where he got the confidence. However, he could vaguely feel that Dong Wu was extraordinary. Although he didn't think Dong Wu could defeat him. The old man said nothing, but his disciple was unhappy. You must know that the old man is the number one master of Puluo Star and is called the Martial Saint of Puluo Star. A little baby actually came to challenge the Martial Saint. Kid, do you know that you are facing Lord Martial Saint? How dare you challenge Lord Marshal Saint when you are so young and you are probably not yet weaned. It is better to apologize quickly. Lord Marshal Saint will not be the same as you. A man with a fierce look the strong man said to Dong Wu. Although he said it bluntly, he also looked fierce. But he is a good person. He excused Dong Wu and reminded him at the same time. I have to say that novels and animations often insult people's stupidity, but there are really not many of them in reality. Looking at the strong man, Dong Wu also nodded in a friendly manner, but still smiled and looked at the old man without saying a word. But the meaning in his eyes was clear, and his attitude didn't change at all. No one has challenged me for decades. To be honest, I am quite lonely. I will help you through two moves this time. The old man stood up with a smile. Let me introduce myself, my name is Feng Yi. 
I can tell that you are not simple, so please take action. The old man was very tall, he was probably two meters tall and still tall. A pair of sharp eyes seemed to see through the truth. Although this Feng Yi is not very strong, it has an extremely high level. Every move it makes seems as motionless as a mountain, and as if the breeze is blowing on its face. It has reached the state of Taoism in nature. Dong Wu's face was solemn. As a Taoist priest in his previous life, he was very familiar with this state, clear. This kind of person can definitely use 10 points of power to achieve 12 points of effects. If he were on earth, he would definitely be a master. Unfortunately, this world is a world where strength defeats skill. In the setting of the Dragon Ball world, if the combat power exceeds 10%, you will have an absolute upper hand, if the combat power exceeds 50%, you will be crushed, and if the combat power exceeds 100%, you will have an absolute instant kill. Dong Wu's combat power of 1006, although his combat power exceeded that of the old man by less than 50%, it still reached more than 30%. Coupled with the bonus of his own body, it was almost enough to crush him. Mr. Wu Shang, you should take action first. According to my detection, your combat power is 1002, and I have 1006. Dong Wu's main purpose is to experience the martial arts of this planet, not to kill people. An invasion, so I told the old man clearly. Hey, is that so? Where did this baby come from, or are babies so strong? Is it true? Everyone gasped, but they couldn't believe it. After all, it's amazing. However, Dong Wu doesn't care what others think. Putting Dong Le aside, he slowly raised his hands. This is the etiquette of the original martial arts competition on earth. Show humility and respect, and at the same time indicate that the competition is just over. Although this is not earth, the rules are different. However, every nation has its own rules. There is no need to accommodate others who do not conform to their own etiquette, and there is no need to impose your so-called etiquette on others. Okay, if that's the case, then I'll take action. Feng Yi moved his body and came to Dong Wu's side beyond human vision. Very good. Although the old man was very fast, he was still relatively ordinary. For Dong Wu, it can only be said that it is not bad. Boom, the old man's fist was blocked by Dong Wu's arm, making a dull sound. The old man was just testing, and there was no use in using his full strength. However, it is still not something ordinary people can stop. However, Feng Yi's control of power is indeed very precise and well controlled. Such great strength and energy were not leaked at all during the confrontation. This is the role of Realm. However, Realm is indeed relatively weak in this world. Mr. Wu Shang, it's better not to test, and fight with all your strength. I want to see the martial arts here. Dong Wu said, using his body's strength to throw the wind wing far away in an instant. Ha, huh, it's really strong. Although I don't know where you come from, a baby can have such power, but since you are so strong, I will use my full strength. After Feng Yi said that, he rushed over again, using all his strength with his fists and kicks. If it breaks out with just one gesture, it can destroy mountains and reclaim seas. But Dong Wu remained motionless and did not fight back. He constantly used tricks to block Feng Yi's attack. No pressure at all. Sure enough, the gap in combat effectiveness cannot be made up in the Dragon Ball world. Dong Wu was a little emotional, but also a little disappointed. Although the setting of Dragon Ball's combat power is a bit screwed up, it still has merits. Moreover, Martial arts experience and realm are not useless. When there is not much difference in combat effectiveness, martial arts level and experience are the keys to victory. Even if there is a difference of 10% or even 20% in combat effectiveness, the realm can make up for it. Any higher and it becomes very difficult. Bang. After another collision, Feng Yi was forced back by Dong Wu. Feng Yi also saw that he was indeed no match for Dong Wu. He didn't understand and was even a little scared. A baby has such great strength. What nation is this? Hey, how could there be such a strong baby? Compared to Feng Yi, his disciple was even more shocked. Others don't know, but they know how strong the old man is. At full strength, one blow can destroy a hundred miles in radius. However, such strength cannot defeat a baby. How strong is this baby? I already know something about your martial arts. Although your strength is not enough, your martial arts level is very high. Therefore, 
I want to study with you here for a while, please allow me. Dong Wu forced Fang Yi back and handed over his hand, said. Your power and strength have far surpassed mine. What else can I teach you? Fang Yi frowned, although he was confused but did not refuse directly. As you can see, I am still a baby. My strength is innate, and my constitution is stronger than that of ordinary people at birth. However, my martial arts realm is far behind. If my combat effectiveness and physical fitness are the same as yours, you will definitely be able to easily defeat me. Therefore, I want to learn from you your martial arts experience and realm. A person's physical fitness determines his combat effectiveness, but the realm and spirit of martial arts are the essence. Please agree. Dong Wu smiled slightly and said lightly explained. Dong Wu's words made Feng Yi's eyes light up, they were speaking to his heart. Smiling and nodding, he said, in that case, then you can practice again for a while. Thank you. Dong Wu smiled knowingly. The martial arts on this planet still had a lot to offer. It would be good to practice for a while. For the next six months, Dong Wu has been practicing at the Puoxing Martial Arts Academy. As for the strong and fierce looking man, Dong Wu also knew his name, Iron Bear. He is the junior disciple among this group of disciples and has been practicing with Feng Yi for five years. Dong Wu didn't use the detector and tried to feel it. He found that it had about 400 combat power. Similar to Sun Goku when Leidas appeared. Little Dong Wu, how did you practice and why are you so strong? Tai Shang came over and picked up Dong Wu and asked with a smile on his face. Although Tai Shang looks very fierce, he is a very kind person. He often helps Dong Wu take care of Dong La, and he will help if there is any need. And this guy is also a martial arts fanatic. Although he is a junior fellow apprentice, his strength has surpassed that of many senior fellow apprentices. But one thing makes Dong Wu very helpless, because as a child, Tia Shang likes to hug Dong Wu when he has nothing to do. Dong Wu couldn't punch him because of this, others had good intentions. I said Tia Shang, can you stop me and stop hugging me all the time? Dong Wu had a headache. It's okay, I'm not tired. Tai Shang didn't feel anything at all and waved his hands indifferently. Dong Wu complained in his heart, is this a question of whether you are tired or not? Is this a question of whether you are tired or not? This is something I'm not used to. Moreover, it is strange that a child with more than 400 pounds of fighting strength can be tired while holding a child weighing several dozen kilograms. However, this situation has happened countless times in the past six months, and Dong Wu has long been unable to complain. Please tell me why you and Lele are so strong and how you cultivated. If you tell me, I will buy you delicious food. Tia Shang looks simple and honest, but he is actually quite shrewd. Knowing that Dong Wu and Dong Le are big eaters, they use delicious food to tempt them. Not to mention, I have eaten a lot of delicious food in the past six months, and I really don't want to eat tasteless barbecue again. Even Dong Le said that Dong Wu's barbecue was unpalatable, which made Dong Wu very depressed for a while. Dong Le is already more than half a year old, except for the time he spent sleeping. The combat power of six points when he was born has been cultivated very strongly by Dong Wu in the past six months. 300 points, this is Dong Li's current combat power. On earth, it is already invincible in today's time period. Brother, just tell Tia Shang that there is something delicious. Dong Le pulled on Dong Wu's trouser legs, drooling all over the floor. Dong Wu covered his forehead and was speechless. This foodie can sell anything he has to eat. Sure enough, all foodies are unreliable. However, what is interesting is that under the guidance of Dong Wu, Dong Le has lost his original temper and is completely no different from ordinary children. Possibly because of the martial arts of the original earth, Dong Le also practiced the martial arts of the original earth taught by Dong Wu. However, what she practices is not Longxiang Boruo Gong, but Tezu Chengquan, which is also an external skill. Tezu's Chengquan fist is popular on earth, but that doesn't mean it's bad. On the contrary, it is widely spread because it is so effective. Tezu Chengquan was created by Zhao Kuangyan, Tezu of the Song Dynasty. At that time, it was invincible in the world. Later, when Song Tezu became emperor, he passed on Tezu Chengquan. The power of Tezu's Chengquan also made everyone at that time flock to it so it spread all over the world and everyone could learn it and become a popular commodity. However, Tezu Chengquan is not bad at all in terms of physical training. 
As for moves, need moves in the Dragon Ball world. What the Dragon Ball world needs is power and speed. Moreover, there is a very unique thing about Chinese Kung Fu. Except for some specific martial arts, most martial arts training methods and disposal are different. Moreover, Chinese martial arts also has a definition of moves. Learn and use them flexibly, and you can win without any moves. After practicing martial arts, Dong Le lost her bad temper and is now a cute little girl, only. You're so greedy that you can forget about yourself even if you have something to eat. If this were on the original earth, some brat would have deceived you. Tai Shang, there are indeed ways to become stronger. However, the more factor is that Lele and I have different physiques. However, my method can indeed improve your strength. For such a long time, you and Mr. Wu Shang have been very good. Take care of us brothers and sisters, and today I will teach the method to everyone in the Martial Arts Academy. You can call the Martial Saint and the brothers to come over later. Dong Wu thought for a while and decided to pass the Martial Arts to Puo Sheng. Because besides teaching his disciples, Wu Sheng also had no reservations about himself. The people here are also very kind to their brothers and sisters. You should not be stingy in both public and private matters. Moreover, not everyone can learn martial arts well, nor is it suitable for everyone. Different physiques and muscle distributions are not suitable for practicing martial arts. It's time to say goodbye. Before leaving, let's do something for this planet. Dong Wu thought with some reluctance. In the past six months, Dong Wu has found someone to remove the eavesdropping device on the detector and the tracking device of the spacecraft. Moreover, it was renovated and the space became much larger. The fuel has been filled up. Dong Wu had already planned to leave after mastering the Puo Xing martial arts a month ago. After teaching, it's time to leave. Soon, everyone, including Marshal Saint Feng Yi, gathered at the martial arts arena. Thank you all for taking care of our brothers and sisters in the past six months. Everyone already knows that Lele and I are not from this planet. Today, Lele and I are leaving. Before leaving, I will teach you something. I believe that Tai Shang has already told everyone. Next, please watch my movements clearly and pay attention to my breathing. If you can record it, that's fine. After Dong Wu finished speaking, the pot exploded. Although the past six months have not been long, everyone is very fond of Dong Wu, a sensible little boy, and Dong La, a foodie. When I heard that I was leaving, I really couldn't bear to leave. Among them, Tai Shang was the most excited. Did I ask you to teach me something? If you are angry, I won't learn any more. Don't leave. Tai Shang, what are you talking about? Lele and I are not from this planet. We will leave sooner or later. In fact, we planned to leave a month ago. This time it is a formal farewell. I think Mr. Wu Sheng should have felt it. Dong Wu said with a smile. Marshal Saint Feng Yi nodded and said, Yes, after you mastered my martial arts, I felt that you were leaving. But I didn't expect it to be so soon, and you are still so young to venture into the universe. In fact, before Dong Wu arrived, this person from Puluo had never left the planet. Although the technology is good, it is only a little better than Dragon Ball Earth, and it has not yet reached the point of going out of the planet. However, it is still possible to modify the spacecraft. However, it's hard to say after that. After all, with Dong Wu and Dong Li's spaceships as reference, one can build one just like a gourd. Mr. Wusheng teaches more without reservation and selfishness. Thank you all for taking care of me. I hope this set of martial arts of mine will be helpful to everyone. After Dong Wu finished speaking, he began to practice Luo Han Fist. This is also a, a good set of external skills. Don't ask why Dong Wu knows so many martial arts. If you are a martial arts practitioner, you will know that everyone will master a lot of martial arts. It is impossible to defeat all the invincible opponents in the world by just learning one. Only when one is erudite and knowledgeable can one embrace all rivers. Three times in a row, Dong Wu moved very slowly. After they finished recording, Dong Wu slowly finished his work. It's finally time to say goodbye. This time we, brother and sister, will go to Earth and will always settle on Earth. If you need anything, you can come to me on Earth. After Dong Wu finished speaking, he picked up Dong Le and flew towards the spacecraft. Marshal Saint Feng Yi and his disciples also flew over. You don't have to send me off anymore. Lele and I are going to Earth today. We'll meet again if we are destined. 
Dong Wu stood at the door of the spacecraft and clasped his fists at a group of people. The others didn't say a word and said goodbye with clasped fists. Just as Dong Wu and Dong Le were about to board the spacecraft, Iron Bear's voice suddenly came from behind. Wait, wait for me. He shouted and waved while dragging a cart of food with his other hand. Just now, Dong Wu noticed that Tai Shang didn't come, and thought he didn't come on purpose because he was afraid of being sad about the separation. Only now did I realize that I had gone to prepare food. I don't know how long it takes to get from Planet Pro to Earth. You can take these things to eat on the way. Iron Bear put down a cart of food and said reluctantly. Before Dong Wu said anything, Dong La, the snack guy, had already rushed towards him and hugged him. Mine, they are all my delicious food. He muttered as he hugged her back, making Dong Wu angry and funny. Okay, it's all yours. Say goodbye to Iron Bear. Dong Wu pulled Dong Li's ears and pulled her off the food. After all, Dong Le is only half a year old in terms of waking hours and is not sensible. But at this time, I also knew that we had to say goodbye, and reluctantly left the food to say goodbye to Iron Bear. However, this little girl is heartless and doesn't know what sadness is. Goodbye. Dong Wu finally bowed his hands and entered the spacecraft with Dong Le and food. Lele, we are leaving. This time we are going to the Earth, and the trip is half a year. You must be obedient and not hit anyone, you know. Dong Wu must give instructions first, because this girl is used to being wild and often in the martial arts academy. Take action with people. The martial arts academy is okay, after all, they are all martial arts masters. Everyone there is better than the little girl, and they are not afraid of her getting into trouble. Others also let her go, so she wouldn't get hurt. But the earth is different. The average combat power of the people on earth is only one, and even Master Roshi, who has the highest combat power, is only 139. Of course, if you include the gods, it will be higher, but after reasoning, it should only be about 300. After all, Piccolo was only over 300 when Raditz arrived on Earth. Therefore, Dong Li's combat power is basically invincible on the Earth during this time period. If you hit someone accidentally, it could really kill someone. I know, brother, I won't hit anyone. Dong Le vowed, but seeing how she didn't care, Dong Wu really didn't know what to do. But there is no choice but to take one step at a time. After starting the spacecraft, the two set off for the Earth. Dong Wu basically practiced cultivation along the way. Although there is no gravity chamber, Dong Wu doesn't really need that thing. And Dong Le, thinking of this girl Dong Wu, she wanted to cover her face, she was too embarrassed to see anyone. A good little girl was taught by him to be a pure foodie, and she ate in the spaceship along the way. Fortunately, there was plenty of food prepared, otherwise the two of them would have starved halfway. During the half-year journey, the same silence and darkness along the way made me feel depressed. Fortunately, the Earth is already in sight in the distance. Please note that we will land at the destination in half an hour, please be prepared. The spacecraft issued a warning, and Dong Wu and Dong Le cheered up. The dull and boring life for half a year has already made them a little bored. Half an hour later, the spacecraft landed safely on the Earth without any major impact. It seems that the stabilization device of Prostar did a good job. But he didn't know that five people had spotted him when he landed. Earth God, Bobo, Meowth, Master Roshi and Crane. These five people are the five strongest people on Earth. Of course, their combat effectiveness is nothing compared to Dong Wu. However, their martial arts realm and ability to sense qi are far beyond what Dong Wu can match. Dong Wu did not restrain the intensity of his qi. In the eyes of the five of them, the huge energy was as bright as the North Star in the dark night. Who is this? What a terrifying power. If he has malicious intentions, the earth can't stop him at all. The God of Heaven broke out in cold sweat. The gap was too big. Half a year ago, Although Dong Le spent three days fishing and two days drying nets, he still had a combat power of 300 under Dong Wu's guidance. At that time, Dong Wu's combat strength was 3000. At this time, half a year had passed, and the little girl had a combat power of 500, and Dong Wu had reached a terrifying 5000. Much like Nappa when she first arrived on Earth. It is terrifying to know that Nappa was already about 30 years old at that time, and Dongwu was only less than 4 years old including dormant time. However, 
neither Dong Wu nor Dong Le can restrain their aura, and there is nothing they can do about it. I don't know how to feel Qi now, so I'd better use a detector to detect the location of Master Roshi and other martial arts masters on earth. Dong Wu thought to himself, and then turned on the detector. Soon, several relatively high combat effectiveness were displayed on the detector. 139, 132, 198, 350, and a combat power of 500. Dong Wu was stunned for a moment. Those with 139 and 132 combat power should be Master Roshi and Kaku Senen. The one with 198 combat power should be Miao Senen, and the one with 350 combat power should be the god. So who is the one with 500 combat power? Look at the position coinciding with the gods. Hiss, could it be Bobo? It seems that the best master on earth is not a god, but a servant of the god with no sense of existence, Bobo. Although Dong Wu was surprised, there was nothing surprising. Bobo has assisted countless Nintendas, and he is definitely the oldest on earth. Moreover, this Bobo is absolutely hidden, not only has the highest combat power on earth, but also has many magical abilities and a high level of martial arts. Let's talk about the special abilities first. You can repair the Shenron model, you can teleport within the earth when looking for the celestial spaceship, you can make combat dolls out of hair when you teach Sun Goku, etc. Now that we know the location, let's go there quickly. But where should we go first? Dong Wu hesitated. In the end, Dong Wu chose to go to the temple. After all, Sun Goku learned to sense Chi from Bobo. Moreover, many of the martial arts on earth come from temples. Including the current and previous gods, it will be of great help to you to learn how to sense Chi first. The temple is a very special place on earth. It is located above Karen Tower, floating in the empty sky. Karen Tower is a sacred place for martial arts. Master Roshi once climbed up Karen Tower. It is said that climbing up Karen Tower can greatly improve your strength. The temple is a more advanced existence than Kalanta. However, the Kalan Tower and Temple on Earth are indeed very mysterious and unusual. For example, Kalanta has fairy beans that can instantly resurrect people with full blood, and super magical water that is highly poisonous but can greatly increase people's strength. And the spiritual time room and time machine of the temple Bobo sent Son Goku to the past to learn from Wu Taito. And what's even more amazing is that this past is really the past of this universe, not a parallel universe. This simply goes beyond the law of cause and effect, and is much more advanced than what Nanks used. However, it seemed that it never appeared again. Kalen Tower and the temple are unattainable to people on Earth, but to Dong Wu, they are nothing more than trivial matters. Dong Wu and Dong Le quickly approached the temple. Coming. Tianchen and Bobo noticed Dong Wu's movements very early, and were at the edge of the temple at this time. Soon, Dong Wu and Dong Le came to Tianchen and Bobo. Hello, I am Saiyan Dong Wu from Planet Vegeta, and this is my sister Dong Le. Dong Wu stood in front of Tianchen and Bobo and said very politely. Planet Vegeta's Saiyan, Tenjin and Bobo frowned, they had never heard of this planet. And I, they didn't even think about aliens visiting the Earth before, because the Earth is so remote. However, when Dong Wu flew the universe spacecraft into the Earth, the gods already knew it. It's just that Saiyan and the others have never heard of it. I am the god of the Earth. My friend from afar, why are you visiting the Earth this time? Although he had never heard of planet Vegeta and Saiyan, the gods still asked politely. Are you welcome? Dong Wu's fighting power left him no room for resistance. It's better to be polite before you know the other person's attitude. If you offend the other person, the earth may suffer. You're welcome, God. There are two main reasons for my visit to earth this time. One is that I will settle on earth in the future. Please help me. Dong Wu smiled slightly, but what he said shocked the God. The God was both worried and happy, but he was worried because he didn't know Dong Wu's attitude towards the earth. I'm glad that the Earth has such a master in charge, so we won't be afraid of threats from other universe people in the future. However, the god was unable to refuse and had no choice but to nod in agreement. What about the second thing? God asked. Just now Dong Wu said there were two things, and this was only one. He had to know what the second thing was to feel at ease. The second thing is that I want to see the uniqueness of Earth's martial arts, and I want you to teach me. Dong Wu's biggest purpose is this. The Earth is just a low-level planet, even at the bottom among low-level planets. However, 
he has trained some of the top masters in the universe such as Sun Goku and Vegeta. Piccolo can also be considered a master of the universe, and even Krillin and Tian Shinhan are top-notch players in the universe. You must know that in Frieza's era, the Ginyu Force's combat strength of 50,000 to 60,000 was enough to dominate the universe. Although Klin did not publish the figures later, it was speculated that it should be no less than 500,000. After all, he could fight an android without dying. Think about it, on an earth where adults have only a little bit of fighting ability. Having trained hundreds of thousands of earthlings with fighting power, one can imagine the extraordinary martial arts skills. Some people may say that this is due to late efforts and various coincidences. However, without the foundation of the earth, it is impossible to grow to this extent. Vegeta, for example, was born with a thousand combat powers. But when he arrived on earth at the age of 30, he only had 22,000 yuan. Son Goku, who had been idle for several years after getting married, had reached 90,000 yuan by exploiting his potential in just one week after going to Namek. This is the importance of foundation. Therefore, although Dong Wu disdains squeezing potential to enhance combat effectiveness, but the foundation and martial arts theory of earth martial arts are still of great reference value. However, the old god frowned because Dong Wu's fighting power was too strong. He felt that he had nothing to teach Dong Wu. Say in Dong Wu, it's not that I don't want to teach you. It's that your strength far exceeds mine. I don't know what else I can teach you. The god sighed, but he still spoke frankly. Later, Dong Wu repeated what Puo Xing said and even informed him about Puo Xing's cultivation. And then he said, I still don't know how to restrain and sense Qi, so please teach me. With the martial arts realm of Tianshan and Bobo, they can still find that Dong Wu is telling the truth. Afterwards, the god thought for a while and finally nodded in agreement, and said, in that case, please ask Mr. Bobo to teach you. His realm is higher than mine. Yes, Lord God. Bobo did not refuse, and it could even be said that his expression did not change at all. I don't know whether it was because he had really reached the point where his face collapsed without changing his expression, or whether he had no expression in the first place. Thank you God and Mr. Bobo. Dong Wu expressed his gratitude and began to practice and learn theory with Bobo. Your strength is already very high, and your basic skills are also very good. It seems that Puo Zing's martial arts is very advanced. However, I will gradually tell you the Earth's reservation theory and basic training methods in the subsequent training. It's always an expression, so I won't describe it here. As for the induction energy and convergence energy you mentioned, it's actually very simple. You just need to be as quiet as the sky and feel the breath of all things in nature with your heart. Just like this, feel it carefully. Bobo said, the energy in the body disappeared without a trace in an instant. Yes, completely gone. There is no feeling of the state of a living thing, as if it were a stone or a dead tree. But using the detector shows that there is no target. Dao follows nature. No, it's not. It's a higher level than Dao follows nature. It's consistent with Dao. Dong Wu was shocked and felt incredible. According to the old Taoist priest of the original earth, the state of Dao following nature also includes listening to nature and being in harmony with Dao. And being in harmony with the Tao is what Taoist terminology often calls Li and Shu He Dao. Taoism naturally talks about learning from all things in nature, reaching the state of returning to nature, and making oneself round and flawless. But learning is like a student learning from a teacher, and listening is naturally listening to the teacher's voice and true meaning. The difference is huge. Being in harmony with Tao means that I am nature, nature is me, and I am inseparable from all things in nature. The level of Bobo is really too high. Dong Wu had to sigh at the profound level of Dragon Ball's martial arts on Earth. Dong Wu admires Bobo's martial arts realm very much, so he observes it carefully. I have to observe very carefully, and understand it with my heart, and try to imitate Bobo, feel nature, and communicate with you. But soon Dong Wu was confused, because he found that it seemed to be easy to do. What is going on? Is it true that in a world dominated by power, realm is so worthless? Thinking of this, Dong Wu was both happy and emotional. Sure enough, it's a different world. Are the rules so different? In fact, it is not that easy to realize the realm. However, as a child, Dong Wu is still relatively close to him. Moreover, it is so easy because of the foundation of the natural state of Pulu Xingdao. 
think of Son Goku, innocent at heart. It didn't take him long to realize this realm, and he realized it quickly. As for other people who followed, they all used specific methods to feel and suppress chi. Instead of doing it naturally and doing whatever you want. Because no one else can achieve the state of harmony between body and Tao. Realm is really not that easy to realize, nor is it that worthless. It's just that Dong Wu doesn't know it yet. I feel it, Bobo's energy, God's energy, Master Roshi and Crane Senen. Hey, what is this? It's somewhat similar to Master Roshi. It's just much weaker. Dong Wu realized the moment when the body and the Tao merged. I immediately felt the intensity of Qi and Qi. Try to restrain your breath. Dong Wu thought, and his breath suddenly dropped automatically. In this way, the test paper is like an arm and a finger. There is no need to specifically control it, just a thought is enough. When the body and the Tao are in harmony, oneself becomes a part of nature. What an amazing understanding. Bobo watched Dong Wu learn it after just reading it once, and he was extremely shocked. As a person who has reached this realm, he naturally knows the difficulty of comprehending this realm. However, Dong Wu actually learned it after just watching it once, which is honestly a bit shocking. In fact, Dong Wu was a Taoist priest on the original earth, and he actually had a certain understanding of this area. Coupled with the Taoist nature taught by Puo Xing and Bo Bo's teachings, it will be much faster to comprehend. Thank you, Mr. Bo Bo, I already understand. Dong Wu woke up from the realization and was very happy to feel what he had gained. This world is dominated by power, and almost everyone will ignore the improvement of their realm and blindly pursue power. Indeed, if the power gap is too big, no matter how high the level is, it will be useless. For example, Frieza can destroy the earth with one finger, so no matter how high the level of the earthlings are, it will be of no use at all and can only be turned into dust in the universe. Therefore, people simply don't bother to take the time to understand the realm. In the original work, if it weren't for chance, Son Goku would not have learned to comprehend the realm. However, in order to defeat Piccolo and accept Bobo's teachings, under Bobo's guidance, Goten was as peaceful as the sky. If it weren't for Bobo's teachings, Son Goku would never have realized it specifically. You have already understood, and I have nothing more to teach you. After that, I will teach you the understanding of martial arts that I and the previous gods have, and the martial arts theory of the earth. Bobo said. More Mr. Bobo, please. Dong Wu was sincerely grateful. You just realized it, consolidate it. Starting from tomorrow, I will teach you theoretical knowledge. After saying this, Bobo left directly. After Bobo left, Dong Wu tried to get into that state again. He found that he had indeed mastered it and could enter easily. After consolidating it a few more times, Dong Wu began to practice the Longxiang Bo Ruo Gong. Dong Wu's dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong has been taught to the first level in Puoxing, but he has never started practicing the second level. He understands the importance of foundation and theory. Although theory without practice is just talk on paper, practice without theory is just a headless fly without a direction. So on the Puluo Star and the Universe spaceship, Dong Wu was studying theory and martial arts. I just tried the protagonist method of the Dragon Ball world, which is also to understand and compare the advantages and disadvantages, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of various methods. Be tolerant to diversity, tolerance is a virtue. Only by taking advantage of various advantages and eliminating various disadvantages can we find the most perfect and suitable path for ourselves. Now, it's time to practice the second level. Dong Wu moved his body and began to practice the second level of Longxiang Boruo Gong. In the past, he had been dismissive of the training methods in the Dragon Ball world, thinking that they were squeezing potential. In fact, it is indeed true. The training method in the Dragon Ball world is indeed to squeeze the potential. When the potential is exhausted, it is basically impossible to move forward. But after training and studying during this period, Dong Wu felt that the effect of combining the two worlds would be better. Enhance your potential with Dragon Elephant Boruo Gong, and then tap it using the methods of the Dragon Ball world. This creates a virtuous cycle that can be said to never end. In fact, almost every Saiyan has very high potential, but some people can tap it out, and some people can't. Dong Wu has mastered the method of tapping this potential, and it can be further enhanced, potential. 
The second level of the dragon elephant bow Ruogong is, dragon, which means rebirth, from an ordinary person to a dragon or a god. The practice postures of Longxiang Boruogong are also extremely difficult, as they exercise all parts of the body, and twist each part of the body to the point where it is almost impossible for the human body to complete it. Dragon, sacred and powerful. The body is tough and flexible, so this layer also requires the human body to reach a level that the human body cannot. As a result, he was completely transformed, far beyond ordinary people. Pain, pain that goes deep into the bone marrow. This is the only feeling Dong Wu feels at the second level of cultivation. He couldn't feel anything but pain. And Dong La, that snat guy, doesn't understand anything at all. When I came to the temple, I looked around and had no worries at all. At this time, I was holding snacks to eat. Following the rhythm of the breathing method, Dong Wu finally completed half of the second level posture. If you want to complete it completely, it will be impossible without a month or two. You must know that each level of Dragon Elephant Bo Ruogong is twice as difficult as the previous level. It also takes basically twice as long. Of course, those with good qualifications can do it earlier, but it is basically impossible to do it faster than before. Let's practice in the temple during this period. On the one hand, it is very convenient to receive the martial arts theory and martial arts insights taught by Bobo. On the other hand, there is no other place to go. Dong Wu rested for a while, and after his body recovered, he began to teach Dong La this girl. This girl Dong La doesn't like to practice, so she spends three days fishing and two days drying nets. Without anyone urging her, this girl can go crazy. Dong Wu felt that this girl had been misled by him, and she had no other Saiyan's passion for cultivation and dedication to combat effectiveness. There are still two years until Sun Goku is born, and it will take about half a year to reach Earth. In other words, it will take another two and a half years to see Sun Goku. When the plot of Dragon Ball begins, Sun Goku is 11 years old, which means that there are still more than 13 years and almost 14 years before the plot of Dragon Ball begins. During this period, Dong Wu decided to practice on Earth, hoping to easily defeat Frieza when facing him. Brother, I'm back. Following the crisp voice of a lifetime, a two or three year old girl flew across the sky and rushed straight towards Dong Wu. Needless to say, this little girl is Dong La. Dong Wu and Dong La have been on Earth for more than two years, and the little baby girl has grown into a little girl. But despite her small size, she is as cute as a porcelain doll. If anyone underestimates her because of this, it will be really bad luck. The little girl is quirky and very fond of being naughty and teasing others. The most important thing is that the combat power is extremely high, and now it has a combat power of close to 10,000. If you are teased, you can only admit that you are unlucky, and you can't beat it at all. Even Tianshan and Bobo were teased by this girl. But although the little girl is a little naughty, she is still kind-hearted. Both Bobo and God liked her very much. Every time they saw the little girl, she always had a kind smile on her face. It's just that Bobo is too dark to be obvious. No, this girl went off to have fun somewhere and didn't come back until it was time to eat. She is very accurate at this point, and no matter how far she travels to eat, she will always come back on time. Tell me, where did you go again? Have you completed the task of practicing martial arts that I gave you? Dong Wu had a straight face and wanted to give her a lesson, but he couldn't. After all, when faced with a little girl as cute as a porcelain doll, no one can avoid feeling soft. The little girl also knew Dong Wu's weakness. After hearing Dong Wu's lesson, her big, moist and smart eyes rolled around, and then she showed a pitiful expression, about to cry. As if to say, if you scold me, I will cry for you. Dong Wu is always defeated instantly. Alas, Dong Wu was speechless and helpless. How many times has this happened? He could barely remember. This girl doesn't feel like a Saiyan at all. However, Dong Wu must take good care of her this time. Dragon Ball Universe is not a peaceful world, and you may encounter powerful enemies. If you don't practice hard, how will you face it in the future? I can take care of her for one year, ten years, or even twenty-three years, but I can never take care of her for a lifetime. Don't pretend to be pitiful for me. I'm telling you, if you can't complete the task, you won't have food to eat. I won't indulge you again this time. Dong Wu said with a serious expression on his face. 
seeing that his brother was really angry, Dong Le was also a little scared. Although Dong Wu dotes on her, if her brother really says it, she will do it. Oh, I know. Dong Le nodded sadly and ran away to practice. Although she could go to the goddess or the Mu immortal to eat if she didn't have a meal at home, she didn't dare challenge her brother's authority. Sigh, Lele, actually I don't want to force you, but this world is very dangerous. You might encounter a powerful enemy at some point. You must be able to protect yourself. Dong Wu touched Dong Wu Li's little head said with seriousness and sincerity. Dong Wu was really worried about this little girl. I know, brother, I will work hard. Although Dong Le is naughty, he is still very obedient. Counting the time, Sun Goku will soon reach the earth at this time. Dong Wu raised his head and looked at the sky, calculating the time. In fact, after he learns the earth's martial arts, he can leave the earth. You can practice anywhere in the universe, there is no need to stay on earth. But as a Dragon Ball fan, I always feel uncomfortable when I don't meet the protagonist of this world. But it's coming soon. Dong Wu calculates that with planet Vegeta's technological level, Sun Goku will only be able to reach Earth within this month at most. However, just as the thoughts in Dong Wu's mind came to an end, he suddenly felt a faint breath approaching from outside the Earth. This aura is very weak, but it is violent. If I am not mistaken, it should be Sun Goku. So, planet Vegeta has been destroyed. Thinking of this, Dong Wu felt a little blocked. However, Dong Wu does not feel it as a pity. After all, Saiyan is too cruel and violent, and staying here would be a disaster. It's just a pity that a fighting nation was destroyed like this. At the same time, I feel sad for my parents whom I have never met. In the worst case, I'll go to Namek and use Dragon Ball to resurrect my parents. It's like repaying the gift of childbirth. Dong Wu thought in his mind. As for why not use Earth Dragon Ball? Because Earth Dragon Ball has a very cunning setting, that is, the person being resurrected must have a physical body, and be resurrected at the place of death. Is Saiyan strong? In terms of combat power at birth, it is average, but its potential is endless. Is Saiyan's vitality tenacious? Tenacious. But Saiyan's weaknesses are also obvious. One is his tail, and the other is that he cannot survive in the universe. Therefore, a considerable number of Saiyans who die in battle every year die due to planet explosions. I have overcome the weakness of the tail. The next step is to find the Dragon Ball, which will give me the ability to survive in the universe and strong recovery ability. Dong Wu calculated, and before the plot of the Dragon Ball started, I gathered it twice. Dragon Ball makes a wish. After thinking about the future, Dong Wu turned his attention to Sun Goku's spaceship. Lele, a clan member is coming soon. Do you want to meet him? Clan member, Saiyan, Dong Le was stunned. She had been on Earth for more than two years, and she thought of herself as an Earthling. Hearing the clan members suddenly, he really couldn't react. Dong Wu nodded and took Dong Le to fly near Sun Goku's landing place. Just as Dong Wu and Dong Le stood still, a ball in the sky dragged its long tail and hit the ground. Boom! The violent impact and violent sound caused the surrounding area to shake and dust and smoke flew everywhere. Click! The door of the spaceship opened, and a little baby boy with a bare butt and a tail climbed out. This is the protagonist of Dragon Ball. I can't believe that you, who was born with only two points of combat power, will reach that level in the future. Dong Wu had to sigh, Sun Goku is indeed impressive. Some people say that Sun Goku can reach that height because of the protagonist's aura. This reason cannot be ruled out, but Sun Goku's hard work and persistence in fighting are the keys to success. After looking at it, it's time to go. Don't interfere with his growth. Dong Wu looked at the little baby boy, smiled slightly, and left. Of course, he will meet Son Gohan after Son Gohan adopts Son Goku. Although it cannot interfere with Son Goku's growth, it can still prevent Son Goku from being trampled to death. Chapter 11 It has been a week since Son Goku arrived on Earth. This week, Dong Wu first visited Bulma's father, Dr. Breathe, and handed the universe spaceship to him for modification. As for what to modify, of course it is to increase the internal space and gravity chamber. At first, Dong Wu did look down on Dragon Ball's practice method. That was because he didn't understand the system and rules of the Dragon Ball world yet. In a different world, the rules are different. In the world of Dragon Ball, high pressure and fighting are really needed to quickly improve combat effectiveness. 
But one thing that hasn't changed at Dongwu is that the overdraft potential is absolutely stupid. Potential can be tapped but must not be overdrawn. Therefore, Dong Wu used the dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong to enhance his own potential, and then used the methods of this world to tap out these potentials. This will not only maintain rapid growth, but will also not hurt potential. Today, Dong Wu's dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong has reached the fifth level. At the fifth level, dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong's physical strength and strength are already 16 times that of when he first came to Earth, and his combat power has reached 50,000. According to the settings of the Dragon Ball world, chi and combat power grow much faster than the body. The strength of the body is doubled, and the energy is definitely more than doubled. Ten times or even a hundred times. However, Dong Wu does not have such exaggerated growth. Not to mention this kind of ten times or a hundred times, even the same multiple as the body cannot be achieved. This can only be said that Dong Wu's potential has increased a lot, but it is all hidden in the body and has not been tapped out. It can only be said that the world is different and the rules are not exactly the same. Therefore, Dong Wu can only use the method of the original Sun Goku to tap out part of his growth potential. Of course, Elder Namek's method may be better, faster and has no side effects. Then, Dong Wu found the way to Sun Gohan. Mr. Sun Gohan, I am a member of Goku's tribe. I came to you today for two things. Dong Wu looked at the kind old man in front of him and said with respect. This old man is not only a true martial artist, but also a kind and kind person. Sun Goku's irritability, Dong Wu has seen it. But the old man was very patient and not angry at all. However, Dong Wu's words made Sun Gohan nervous. You said you are a member of Goku's tribe. What evidence do you have? Are you here to take Goku away? Sun Gohan nervously held Sun Goku in his arms. He regarded Sun Goku as his grandson. Seeing the old man's movements, Dong Wu suddenly thought of the old Taoist priest in the original world, and the softest part of his heart was touched. Don't be nervous, old man. You see, I also have a tail like Goku, which is the biggest feature of our race. However, I am not here to take Goku away. I just have two things to ask you. Dong Wu said, exposing the tail. Sun Gohan was relieved when he saw that he looked exactly like Sun Goku. Grandpa, the first thing I came here to do is for Goku. I want you to learn a set of martial arts and teach him when Goku grows up. Another thing is that you must not let Goku look at the full moon, otherwise he will transform into a giant orangutans, their fighting ability has increased tenfold and they have no sense. Remember this, Dong Wu said very seriously. Seeing Dong Wu's solemn warning, Sun Gohan also knew that it might be serious and nodded in agreement. In case of emergency, Goku accidentally sees the full moon and turns into a gorilla. Please actively run as far as you can. I or other tribe members will arrive soon. Dong Wu finally finished and fisted Taizu Chong. To Sun Gohan. Okay, the first thing has been done. Next is the second thing. I would like to borrow a yellow crystal ball with four stars in your hand. This is the dragon ball that Dong Wu knows is easier to find, and then asks Dr. Brive to make a dragon ball radar. Sun Gohan was very talkative and quickly took out a Dragon Ball with four stars. After expressing his gratitude, Dong Wu took the Dragon Ball to Dr. Brive's home. Oh, you said that this bead emits a special kind of fluctuation, and you want me to make a radar that can detect this kind of bead based on this kind of fluctuation. Dr. Brive said with some confusion while holding the Dragon Ball. Yes, please help Dr. Brif. Dong Wu didn't hide anything and told him the function of Dragon Ball. In fact, even if he didn't say it, his daughter would manufacture the Dragon Ball radar in the future because of the legend. However, that will be 11 years later, and Bulma is only 6 years old now. In that case, come and get it in 2 days. Dr. Brive nodded. In fact, the reason why Dr. Brive responded to Dong Wu's request was because he saw Dong Wu's inhuman power. Otherwise, do you think anyone can meet the world's number one scientist and richest man? Okay. I'll come and get it in three days. Dong Wu nodded and left with the universe spaceship. It took three days, really three days, to make the Dragon Ball radar. When Dong Wu arrived on the third day, Dr. Briff was already waiting with the Dragon Ball radar and two Dragon Balls. Why two? Because there was one in his house, he discovered it after the Dragon Ball radar was ready. Dr. Dobrev, 
I will protect your safety from now on. Dong Wu got what he wanted and made a promise to Dr. Dobrev. Later, Dong Wu found Dragon Ball smoothly because of the Dragon Ball radar and strong strength. Those who cooperate will be given some benefits. If you don't cooperate, Dot Hei, give him a good beating and take away the Dragon Ball. The Dragon Ball in Ox King's hand was obtained by Dong Wu by extinguishing the fire in the Flame Mountain. However, Dong Wu did not destroy Ox King's treasure. As for the Dragon Ball in Pilaf's hand, it's even simpler. After a beating, they handed it over. Come out Shenron, Dong Wu placed seven Dragon Balls on the ground and shouted loudly. As Dong Wu finished speaking, the sky suddenly turned dark, and there was lightning and thunder. A green Shenron emerged from the Dragon Ball. Say your wish, and I can fulfill it for you no matter what. Dragon Ball's arrogant voice came, making Dong Wu's mouth twitch. If I hadn't read the original work, I would have been stunned by his strong character. Of course, Dong Wu is not theorizing with it, just let it pretend, as long as it can realize its wish. Shenron, I want the ability to survive in the universe. Dong Wu said calmly. This wish is very simple. Shenron's eyes radiated scarlet light, and then Dong Wu discovered that there was a slight change in himself. Although he didn't know why, he knew that his wish came true. After all, Dragon Ball and Shenron are incredible things to begin with. After getting the ability he wanted, Dong Wu is going to take Dong Le around the universe to let Dong Le meet the masters of the universe. Only in this way can she be stimulated to practice, so that she will not become a passerby later. Because the novel Dragon Ball does not cover too many planets, Dong Wu only knows about those few. Among the planets Dong Wu knows, only Namek is more suitable for Dong Le now. Lele is leaving. I will take you to see other planets today. Dong Wu grabbed Dong Le, who was almost buried in food, and dragged him onto the spacecraft. Navigating the universe is very boring. Fortunately, this spacecraft has enough space and is equipped with a gravity chamber. Otherwise, this kind of space voyage will really make people stupid. At this time, Dong Wu was practicing with Dong Le in the gravity chamber with 20 times the gravity. Maybe someone said that with such a strong gravity coming up, wouldn't there be any problems? That would be wrong, I would have known that planet Vegeta's gravity is 10 times that of Earth. Saiyan was able to adapt to this gravity when he was born, and now 20 times the Earth's gravity is only equivalent to twice that of planet Vegeta. However, even so, Dong Le was already sweating profusely and trembling all over. However, with Dong Li's combat power of nearly 10,000 and the physical condition gained from martial arts training, these are not problems. It has to be said that the growth of strength and body in the Dragon Ball world is really unmatched by the original world. Take the Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong as an example. The fifth level of the Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong can only allow people to crack stone monuments and crack stones, and the power is only a few hundred kilograms at most. But in the Dragon Ball world, Dong Wu's fifth level Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong can break mountains with just his physical strength, and his power reaches thousands of tons. The gap is really too big. Although Dong Le is almost there, he still has tens of tons and close to hundreds of tons of pure physical strength. But gravity bearing is not equal to force bearing. It can bear hundreds of tons of weight, but gravity cannot. Not to mention Dong Le, even Dong Wu felt a little stressed. I just asked you to practice martial arts for three hours. Now let's start doing physical and strength exercises. Dong Wu began to lead Dong Le to strengthen his body in all aspects, including push-ups, pull-ups, fast jogging, etc. Practicing martial arts without practicing martial arts will lead to nothing. This is a truth that everyone in China knows in the original world. Practicing martial arts greatly increases physical potential, and can also increase physical fitness and combat effectiveness. But the increase in combat effectiveness is not obvious, far inferior to the methods of this world. For example, now, Dong Li's combat power has almost doubled in just five days, reaching 18,000. Although Dong Le is not so terrifying, he has reached 70,000. When he came out of the earth, Dong Wu's combat strength was only 50,000. But thinking that Sun Goku set out from the earth and reached 90,000 from 8,000 in just one month, Dong Wu didn't want to say anything. Although Dong Wu uses the same method, he does not exercise on the verge of physical collapse like Sun Goku. If the body collapses, the gain will outweigh the loss and there will be no regrets. 
Dong Wu and Dong Le were practicing tirelessly. Ten days later, a sudden burst of dazzling light entered the spacecraft. What's going on? Dong Wu was stunned and quickly ran to the console of the spacecraft. It's not natural light, is it the light of fighting energy? Thinking of this, Dong Wu began to sense carefully. Soon, a strong qi appeared in Dong Wu's senses. The strength of qi is probably more than 10,000 points. It is said in Dragon Ball that Vegeta surpassed King Vegeta before Planet Vegeta was destroyed, but the distance is very far. There is ferocity and violence in the majesty, much like Saiyan angry. Could it be Vegeta? Dong Wu frowned. There should not be many Saiyans in the universe nowadays. Apart from those who appeared in the original work, there wouldn't be many even if there are still Saiyans in the universe. Nowadays, apart from Vegeta, the only one with a combat power of more than 10,000 is Brawly. But although this energy is cruel but not chaotic, it should be Vegeta. Dong Wu is basically sure that this energy should be Vegeta's. I just don't know why I didn't feel Nappa and Raditz's anger. Nowadays, a five-year-old has more than 10,000 fighting strength. I really don't know how a 29-year-old can survive with only 22,000. Dong Wu thought a little speechlessly. Son Goku was 24 years old when Vegeta arrived on Earth, and Vegeta was already 29 years old. It took 5 years to grow from 1,000 to more than 10,000, and it took 24 years to grow from more than 10,000 to 22,000. It's really hard to understand. In fact, this is also related to the environment. Before 10,000, it is easy to encounter equally matched opponents. After experiencing life and death battles and bloodshed, growth will naturally be rapid. But after it exceeded 10,000, there were very few opponents in the universe at this time, and growth was naturally slow. Saiyan is called a fighting nation not because of their strong fighting ability, but because they become more brave as they fight. Originally, Dong Wu had no intention of looking for Vegeta, but since he met him, he went to take a look. By the way, Vegeta is still barely qualified as Lili's first opponent. Although Dong Le has a combat power of 18,000, he has never fought a real battle. Although Vegeta only has a strength of 12,300, he should be able to put some pressure on Dong Le. The combat effectiveness is nearly 50% lower. If it doesn't work, just hurt him once and then heal him. He should be almost on par with Lele. Vegeta didn't know yet that he was about to be seriously injured for no reason. Who the hell are you trying to reason with? Switching the automatic cruise to manual operation, Dong Wu drove the spacecraft towards the shining planet. Although the actual distance is very far, it only takes two hours by airship. Soon, an earthy yellow planet came into Dong Wu's eyes. This planet is about twice the size of the Earth and is overall khaki in color. Not only the soil, but also the plants are earthy yellow. At this time, Vegeta is destroying a city on the planet, and the creatures on the planet are desperately resisting. However, with an average combat strength of only 2 to 300 and a maximum of less than 5,000, how can we resist? Destruction is only a matter of time. Vegeta's distinctive hairstyle and arrogant laughter stood out among the chaos and screams of the indigenous people. Die, die, you all die. Vegeta shouted as he fired Qigong bombs one after another, destroying the resistance one after another. Dong Wu frowned, Saiyan was really too cruel. Even though it was Frieza who ordered it, it would still be too cruel to kill the entire planet at every turn. He felt that Saiyan should be warlike but not easy to kill. Be decisive but not cruel. Vegeta's cruelty made Dong Wu unable to stand it anymore. Lele, he will be your first opponent. Dong Wu said to Dong Le next to him while standing on the spaceship. Dong Le is a little bigger than Vegeta, but because he has been dormant for two years, Vegeta seems bigger now. However, combat effectiveness does not depend on body size. I understand, brother, this guy is so bad, I will definitely teach him a lesson. Dong Le has been living on Earth except for half a year in Proexing. Even if there are occasional crimes, I have never seen such a cruel scene. This allowed her to understand for the first time the cruelty of the world and what her brother meant by being unsafe. Without strength, let alone an individual, the entire planet would be in danger. The spacecraft did not land, but remained suspended in the atmosphere. Before the hatch was fully opened, Dong Le rushed out angrily. Looking at the serious little face and clenched fists, you can tell how angry the little girl is. It seems that it is right not to resurrect Saiyan and planet Vegeta. 
One Saiyan has already caused such damage, what kind of disaster will millions of Saiyan cause? Dong Wu thought about it in the future after Vegeta and Son Goku defeated Frieza, it would be useless there is probably a reason for resurrecting the Saiyan race. Vegeta, stop it. Dong Le rushed to Vegeta and shouted angrily. Behind him, Dong Wu followed unhurriedly. It wasn't that he didn't want to save the people this week, but it was meaningless. Most of the people in this city were already dead. Moreover, this is Dong Li's first opponent. Ha, here are two more little miscellaneous fish. Vegeta can't sense chi yet, and Dong Le and Dong Wu have also suppressed their chi. Vegeta has no idea of their fighting power. Otherwise, we will definitely turn around and leave. Vegeta, you are too cruel. Dong Le stood opposite Vegeta, his little fists clenched tightly. Who do you think you are? Dare to meddle in my king Vegeta's business? Vegeta sneered disdainfully. He was already planning to kill this nosy guy. But soon Vegeta was stunned because he discovered that the two guys in front of him actually had tails. Saiyan, Vegeta was stunned for a moment, then sneered. Since you are Saiyan, why don't you quickly salute this prince? At this time, planet Vegeta had been destroyed for half a year, and Vegeta was also informed of the facts compiled by Frieza. Humph, give back the prince. Even the country and the planet are gone, where do you get the sense of superiority? Besides, I'm here to defeat you. Dong Le snorted disdainfully, and slowly raised his hand to make a move. Defeat me, what kind of joke are you talking about? Since you are looking for death, I will let you know how powerful this prince is. Vegeta said angrily after being poked in a painful spot. Then he exploded with arrogance and punched Dong Le. In his mind, no one in Saiyan could be his opponent. He could defeat or even kill this little girl with just one punch. However, it backfired. Dong Le has surpassed Vegeta by a lot in terms of combat power alone. How, how is it possible? Vegeta's eyes narrowed, with a look of disbelief on his face. The reason is very simple. The punch he threw with all his strength was easily received by Dong Le. It's like a child hitting an adult, with no power to resist. This is no longer a confrontation, but a complete crushing. There is a huge gap between Vegeta and Dong Le in terms of combat power, a 50% gap, an absolute crushing state. Even Vegeta's experience couldn't make up for it. Dong Wu shook his head, this would not put any pressure on Dong Le at all. Sure enough, the next moment Vegeta was punched away by Dong Le. Boom, Vegeta hit the ground, and the terrain instantly changed, with gravel flying out. I, Vegeta, would lose to a little girl. I am a prince, the one closest to Super Saiyan. Vegeta roared, flew out of the ground and rushed towards Dong Le again. Whether you believe it or not, you are no match for me. Dong Le took action again. The difference in combat power makes Dong Le far superior to Vegeta in both speed and attack power. Ah, ta ta ta, Vegeta was like an angry beast, attacking with all his strength. However, the gap is still too big and cannot be bridged by anger. After all, not everyone is a god, and anger can enhance a lot of fighting power. Dong dong dong, bang bang bang. After a series of blows and collisions, Vegeta was beaten again and was unable to fight back. Dong Le was filled with hatred and was merciless every time he struck. Vegeta was soon seriously injured. Why, how could this happen? The gap is so great that we can't resist at all. Lying on the ground, Vegeta had given up resistance and lost the will to continue fighting. Vegeta, Saiyan is a fighting nation, not butchers. Saiyan should be warlike but not cruel, cautious but not timid. The more you fight, the braver you become. Saiyan, Dong Wu looked at Vegeta with disappointment in his tone. Before meeting Son Goku and without the influence of the Earth's warriors, Vegeta could not be called a warrior. He was just a butcher, and his mind was not firm enough. If you encounter an irresistible enemy, you will lose your fighting spirit. These are all changes that occurred after meeting Son Goku. What do you know? I am Prince Saiyan, I should be the strongest. Why, why am I not as good as a little girl? I fight in the universe just to become stronger. I have gone through many deadly battles, but I am not as good as a flower in a greenhouse. Vegeta was angry, unwilling but afraid to fight again. Perhaps you have experienced life and death crises before, but since your combat effectiveness has improved, I'm afraid you rarely encounter danger again. Dong Wu shook his head and continued. 
I can give you a chance to greatly increase your strength and let you know why Saiyan is called a fighting nation. Dong Wu said, stepping forward and punching Vegeta through the chest. Even Frieza's life fluid couldn't heal such a severe wound. You, you didn't mean to let me. Dot why? Saiyan's vitality was indeed strong, and even so, he did not die immediately. However, Vegeta also felt deeply unwilling to die like this. However, he knew he was going to die and no one could heal this injury. However, except Dong Wu. Seeing the unwilling Vegeta, Dong Wu smiled and took out a shriveled bean. Anyone who has seen Dragon Ball knows that this is fairy beans. It is said that as long as there is still breath, no matter how serious the injury is, he can be resurrected with full health. Eat it. Dong Wu flicked his fingers, and the fairy beans fell into Vegeta's mouth. Boom, sure enough, Vegeta's injuries were completely recovered in an instant, and even the wound on his chest was completely healed. Dong Wu was stunned when he saw it. Although he already knew the efficacy of fairy beans, he still wanted to say, MMP, it's a bug. After Vegeta recovered from his injury, he unleashed his tyrannical energy wantonly. This power, this power is so powerful, so perfect. Vegeta felt the power coming from his body like a tide, and became arrogant again. With this power, who else is my opponent? Vegeta laughed heartily and suddenly realized, so that's it. Saiyan will become stronger after recovering from serious injuries. Is this why it is called a fighting nation? You were right. This is why Saiyan is called a fighting nation. After recovering from serious injuries, their strength has greatly improved, and the more they fight, the braver they become. Dong Wu affirmed. But don't think about using this method to make tricks. These are your own hidden potentials. Once the potential is exhausted, it will not increase. If you want to increase your strength, you still need to practice. Looking at the excited Vegeta, Dong Wu felt that if he didn't remind Vegeta, Vegeta would dare to go crazy and harm himself. This is not unreasonable speculation, after Namek. Vegeta relied on Dandan's healing power to cripple himself and increase his combat effectiveness. Hee <laughs> hee, you don't need to be nagging. With this kind of fighting power, I think I can defeat you. However, as long as you give me the beans just now, I will let you go. Vegeta's mysterious confidence came back again. Throughout the entire plot of Dragon Ball, Vegeta's mysterious confidence can be said to persist from beginning to end. The only fight without mystery's confidence is Majin Buu. It seems that your lesson is not enough. Dong Wu shook his head, this Vegeta really shines with a little sunshine. Yes, Vegeta's strength has indeed increased, and it has increased a lot. The original feeling of anger was about 12,000, but now it has reached 22,000, an increase of nearly double. It is indeed higher than Dong La, but still far behind Dong Wu. However, Dong Wu was not prepared to take action. He wanted to train Dong La. If he took action, Dong La would really become a flower in the greenhouse as Vegeta said. As long as I'm watching over him, I won't put Dong Li's life in danger. TCH you still want to challenge my brother with your little fighting ability, just dream on. Let's see how your Aunt Lele teaches you. Dong Le pinched his waist with both hands and pointed at Vegeta. Dong Le didn't feel anything, but Dong Wu was stunned. This, this style of painting is wrong. Isn't Xiao Lele very cute and cute? Although he is naughty, he is very polite and never arrogant or domineering. Sure enough, have I been deceived? I said, how could Saiyan be a good boy? Dong Wu covered his face, looking worried. Saiyan, he is still Saiyan, no matter how well behaved he is, he is still a militant at heart. HMPH, you had a great fight just now. This time I will teach you a lesson first, and then kill the one who almost killed me just now. Vegeta is now so confident that he no longer takes Dong Le seriously. What did you say? I'm going to beat you to death. Dong Le became angry when he heard this, and rushed towards Vegeta and launched a series of continuous attacks. In her heart, Dong Wu is the closest person to her. Anyone who wants to hurt Dong Wu will fight tooth and nail. Although, Dong Wu's combat ability is higher than hers. On the contrary, the same goes for Dong Wu. This is family love and family. Boom, boom, boom. Violent sounds and explosions caused by the confrontation continued to appear on the battlefield, and the two people could only see the afterimage. At that time, except Dong Wu. Dong Le attacks very hard, 
but now her combat effectiveness is not as good as Vegeta's, and her experience is not as rich as Vegeta's. Although the offense looks strong, defeat is actually only a matter of time. But Dong Wu didn't interfere. He just wanted to let Dong Le lose, let her know that there are people outside the mountains, and let her know the dangers of this world. Only in this way can Dong Li's motivation for cultivation be stimulated. Oh, I won't lose to you, a flame-headed guy. Dong Li yelled angrily, fighting Vegeta with all his strength. However, she has been suppressed, has even been attacked many times, and has suffered a lot. Boom, Dong Le was hit again, and blood continued to flow. Dong Wu felt heartbroken when he saw it. However, Dong Wu must be ruthless. Pretending not to see Dong Li's eyes asking for help, he let Dong Le fight on his own. Get up, you won't fail. Lele, tell brother you can do it. Dong Wu turned his head to the side and said without looking at Dong Le. He didn't dare to turn his head. He was afraid that if he turned his head, he wouldn't be able to bear to let Dong Le fight anymore, and he was afraid that if he turned his head, he would want to kill Vegeta. Yes, brother, I can do it. Dong Le gritted his teeth and stood up, with determination in his eyes. At this moment Dong Wu was relieved, and at the same time he knew that Dong Le would be a qualified warrior from now on. Lack of experience can make up for it, but a warrior's spirit of never admitting defeat is the biggest gain. Although Dong Le burst out with strong fighting spirit, due to the gap in combat effectiveness and experience, Dong Le was still defeated. However, Vegeta didn't feel well in the end and was beaten up by Dong Wu. At this time, Dong Le had embarked on the journey of Namek again. This battle greatly touched Dong Le, so he practiced very actively in the following time without Dong Wu's supervision at all. Dong Li's progress was very rapid. His recovery from injury went from 18,000 to 40,000, which was more than doubled. This is the difference between constantly improving potential and only consuming without replenishing. Now that the two of them have adapted to a hundred times the gravity, Dong Li's combat power has jumped to 100,000. And Dong Wu's combat strength has now reached 150,000. But one thing is strange. In the last two days before reaching Namek, Dong Wu and Dong Li's improvement slowed down. There is almost no improvement, whether it is martial arts training or physical exercise. Is there such a big gap between me and Sun Goku and Vegeta? Impossible, but Sun Goku and Vegeta easily had hundreds of thousands or millions in combat power in Namek. Why did I stop at 150,000? Including Lele it also stopped at 100,000. Dong Wu frowned, confused. Could it be? Dong Wu was stunned and thought of a speculation by netizens, which was Saiyan's limit. In other words, Saiyan has several bottlenecks. If you want to improve, you must break through the limits and break through the shackles. In this regard, netizens speculated that Saiyan should have three limits, one with a small limit around 10,000. This is the end point for most Saiyans, and basically all Saiyans in planet Vegeta have no one to break. The only one was Burdock, who died after still breaking his limits. The second limit should be around 100,000, with slight differences depending on personal qualifications. But whether it is Sun Goku or Vegeta, or even Sun Gohan, they all started to break out around 100,000. When Sun Goku reaches Namek, his combat power is 90,000, and it is basically difficult to improve after that. After recovering from serious injuries, his strength began to improve again. At this time, the limit of 100,000 combat power was completely broken, so it quickly improved in subsequent battles. Including Vegeta, Namek also recovered from multiple serious injuries and exceeded his limits, thus growing rapidly. If this speculation is correct, then Lele and I should have reached the second limit. Dong Wu temporarily relaxed his brows at the thought, and arrived at Namek to ask the Elder to develop his potential. He should be able to grow faster than the limit. Of course, this is just speculation, and neither the official nor the author of Seven Dragon Ball has publicly said this. Please note that we will land at Namek in 10 minutes. The spacecraft landed steadily 10 minutes later, and Dong Wu and Dong Le walked out of the spacecraft. Nelu, two alien friends are visiting Namek. You go and wait outside the door. When they arrive, please come in. As soon as Dong Wu and Dong Le landed in Namek, the Great Elder already knew their purpose. After giving orders to Nilu, he asked the elders of each tribe to bring the Dragon Ball to gather at his place. Saiyan, who is pure and kind at heart, has not appeared for hundreds of years. 
It seems that the legendary warrior is coming back again. The Great Elder sighed with a smile in relief. The Great Elder is a very special person in the Dragon Ball world, possessing many powerful and mysterious abilities. Predict the future, create Dragon Balls, increase potential, and more. This time he saw the future, the disaster of Namek and the reconstruction after it. However, the person he saw saving Namek was a golden warrior, but he failed to see clearly who it was. After all, it's impossible to predict the future in such detail. Dong Wu also sensed the position of the Great Elder when he landed. To be precise, he knew the position through Nelu's Chi. Namek's only fighting type Namek is a warrior with a combat power of 20,000. Taking Dong La, the two flew towards the Great Elder. With Dong Wu's current speed, he soon saw a huge insect-like building with an unsmiling Namek outside the building. This should be Nelu. Although it is a speculation, it has actually been confirmed. Among the Namek people with a fighting strength of 20,000, Nelu is the only one. The Great Elder already knows that you are coming. Please come in with me. Nelu was very indifferent and didn't say any nonsense. Dong Wu didn't care, nodded and followed Nelu in. The first thing that catches the eye is an extremely large elderly Namek man. However, he was so old that he couldn't even sit up straight. Great Elder, people are already here. Nelu would only be respectful when facing the Great Elder. Thank you for your hard work, Nelu. The Elder nodded, and then looked at Dong Wu and Dong La. I haven't met Saiyan for many years. I already know your purpose. The Dragon Ball is here. Take it, quote. More Great Elders. Whenever Namek is in need in the future, I will never stand idly by. Dong Wu thanked him sincerely. He didn't expect Namek to be so easy to talk to. In fact, the Great Elder also saw that they were kind people, and they were so easy to talk to after seeing the future. Otherwise, just like Frieza, they will not surrender even if they die. Great Elder, we are here firstly for the Dragon Ball. Secondly, you can help us develop our potential. Oh, you even know this. Well, come on up. The Great Elder was quite surprised by the comparison. After all, no one even knew about his ability. However, he did not refuse. Which one of you will come first? The Great Elder asked with a smile. Lele, you go first. However, try to suppress your anger and don't disturb the Great Elder. Dong Wu ordered together. Yeah, Dong Li nodded and stepped forward. The Great Elder put his huge palm on Dong Li's head, and a strange force surged from the Great Elder's hand to Dong Li. Dong Wu knew that this was the power of the Great Elder to develop his potential. Boom, Dong Li's anger exploded instantly and quickly increased. Fortunately, Dong Li suppressed it immediately, otherwise the entire building would have been blown away. The potential is so strong, it's endless, bottomless. The Great Elder opened his mouth and sighed. He never thought that there would be someone with such a strong potential. Well, her body contains endless potential, and I can only develop a very small part of it. The Great Elder said slightly tiredly. Great Elder, Nelu wanted to say something anxiously, but was interrupted by the Great Elder waving his hand. I'm fine, this won't affect my lifespan. The Great Elder has consumed a lot of energy. Please take this Great Elder to replenish your energy. Dong Wu took out two fairy beans and handed them to Nelu. One at a time is enough. The Great Elder ate a fairy bean and was immediately shocked by this magical thing. Just a bean not only restored his physical strength, but also replenished a lot of vitality. It's incredible that there are such magical beans. The Great Elder said with emotion. This is called a fairy bean, and it was grown by the immortals on earth. Not only can it restore physical strength, but it can also heal injuries. No matter how serious the injury is, as long as you still have a breath to eat the fairy beans, you can fully recover immediately. Dong Wu explained. In fact, even Dong Wu felt that fairy beans were not only magical, but also had some bugs. It can be said that the fairy beans are the strongest bug besides Dragon Ball. Okay, I have no problem, come up. The Great Elder recovered his strength and was ready to develop Dong Wu's potential. Dong Wu said nothing and walked up to the Great Elder. The Great Elder also put his hand on Dong Wu's head, and a magical power entered Dong Wu's body. In the past, I could only feel the existence of this energy, but now I understand more clearly why this energy can develop its potential. It's actually an acupuncture point. It opens up the body's acupuncture points to release their potential. 
Dong Wu was shocked because he never knew that there were people in the Dragon Ball world who knew about acupuncture points. After the Great Elder's energy enters the body, it will open a small opening in some acupuncture points, allowing the potential inside to be released. Of course, because of the size of the potential and the size of the opening, the potential may not be fully released. But even this shocked Dong Wu. No, this was not intentional by the Great Elder. It is more like an unconscious state. Dong Wu soon discovered the difference. The Great Elder did not consciously develop a certain acupuncture point, but the energy was spread unconsciously after entering the body. It will gather when it touches the acupuncture point, and then moisturize the acupuncture point to try to open it. However, not all acupuncture points can be opened, only a small part. For acupuncture points that cannot be opened, the energy will leave automatically after trying. How many acupuncture points can be developed and their potential varies from person to person. Some have low potential and can be fully released and open all acupuncture points once developed. In some cases, only a small part can be developed, and the opened acupuncture points cannot be fully opened. The combat effectiveness enhanced by developing potential naturally varies from person to person, and some increases can only be increased by one or two times such as Krillin and Nelu. Some are several times or even ten times, such as Dong Wu. Boom boom. Dong Wu seemed to hear the sound of bursting blisters on certain acupuncture points in his body. Boom. A surging energy rushed out from Dong Wu's body acupuncture points, as if a wild beast had escaped from its cage and surged wildly. Feeling this power, Dong Wu was also surprised because it was so huge, as continuous and surging as the waves. Drink. Dong Wu didn't dare to be lazy and quickly restrained his breath, otherwise the consequences would be serious. Although there is no test, this power is more than ten times stronger than itself. With this kind of power, just the spread of breath can crush some people with low combat effectiveness to death. The potential is so strong, it's endless and bottomless. It's impossible to fathom the depth. How could there be someone with such a powerful potential? The Great Elder was completely shocked. If Dong Li's potential is like a vast lake, even though it is boundless and unfathomable, we can still understand a little bit. Then Dong Wu's is Wang Yang Da Hai, and he has no idea what is hidden in it. Of course, Saiyan has very high potential, at least the potential to reach Super Saiyan is still there. However, most of them cannot be developed. Moreover, human potential can be cultivated and increased. Although Dong Wu was born with higher combat power than Dong Le and had much greater potential, the gap would never be as big as it is now. The reason for this situation is the practice of martial arts. Dong Wu has already reached the fifth level of Longxiang Boruo Gong, while Dong Le has just practiced the second level of Taizu Chengquan. Bang, 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 suddenly there were four more sounds in the body. Dong Wu felt a numbness and itching between the eyebrows, chest, and the base of the tail below the belly button. This was the reason why the acupuncture points were opened. The upper, middle and lower dantian, the largest and most mysterious acupuncture points in the body, are they all opened at once? And the position of the root of the tail. What's going on? Dong Wu was stunned. As a Chinese from the earth, there are all acupuncture points, and dantian. What's more, he was a Taoist priest in his previous life. I'm afraid not many people have a deeper understanding of acupuncture points than he does. Okay, your potential is too great, I can only unlock the tip of the iceberg. The great elder said tiredly and let go of his hand, but Dong Wu didn't reply and still stood motionless. Because he was too excited to speak at this time, the upper, middle and lower dantian were opened, releasing energy that shocked Dong Wu. Note that it is energy, not power. The upper dantian is located in Nguyen Palace, also known as Zifu, where one's own soul resides. Zongdanshan is located on the chest, also known as Tanjong Point, which is where one's own vitality lies. Xiaodantian is located three inches below the navel, where one's own essence resides. The Taoist body and use of double rest and the trinity of essence, energy and spirit are the foundation of spiritual practice. However, I have never heard of anyone truly uniting their spirit, energy and spirit. At this time, Dong Wu did it. The soul of Zifu escapes from the trap, and the soul and body become one. Mid laner Tian's vitality was rising, as if a spring was constantly releasing vitality. The order field is also a source of energy, which constantly breathes essence. 
The most peculiar thing is that at the base of the tail, there are actually golden yellow chi. The chi, vitality and essence combine to form a golden red energy. This golden red energy is integrated into the body and soul, and is finally hidden throughout the body. Ha, Dong Wu took a long breath, calmed down his excitement and sincerely thanked the Great Elder, the potential that the Great Elder helped me develop is unimaginable for me. More Great Elders. Not to mention how much combat power is improved, even if it is not improved, it is enough to open these three acupuncture points. Moreover, it not only opened three dantian and tail root acupuncture points, but also opened more than ten other major acupoints and improved a lot of combat effectiveness. You're welcome. I hope I can help you. I also hope that I can help Namek when he is in trouble. The Great Elder waved his hand and opened up Nelu's potential. He had already sensed that disaster was approaching step by step, so he also began to enhance Namek's combat effectiveness. As for the Dragon Ball, I will let Dandan take you to make a wish. Don't worry, Great Elder, as long as I live for a day, the Namek people will not disappear. Dong Wu made a promise, and then followed Dandan out with the Dragon Ball. In fact, Dong Wu's promise was also tricked. He promised not to disappear but did not promise not to be harmed. Because this is impossible, no one can guarantee that no one will be harmed. Not even the Earth in the original world can do it, let alone this Dragon Ball world where you can do whatever you want. As Dong Wu, Dong Le and Dan Dan flew out, seven Dragon Balls also arrived outside. Great Elder, these two Saiyans. Nelu asked the Great Elder with some doubts as he watched a few people leave, but he hesitated to speak with some scruples. Nelu, my child, I know what you are going to say. But the disaster for us Namek people is coming soon, and the only one who can help us solve the disaster is Saiyan. Helping them improve their potential is also a good relationship. Look at today, they will not stand idly by. And I can feel that these two Saiyan children are very kind-hearted at heart. The Great Elder's cloudy and old eyes shone with wisdom. Yes, Great Elder, Namek is a land of green, including sky, earth, water and plants. It is like a shining emerald in the universe, exuding unique magic. There is no night in Namek, but there are not many plants, especially fewer tall trees. So you can see many Namek people planting trees in Namek. Namek used to be very developed, but due to environmental destruction and natural disasters, there were very few Namek people left. Nowadays, all the Namek people are the children of the Great Elder. Therefore, Namek people today attach great importance to environmental protection. The three of them came to a clearing, and Dandan summoned Namek Shenran in Namek language, also called Boringa, which means the god of dreams. Like Earth Shenran, the entire sky will turn dark when it appears, even if there is no night for Namek. And Namek Shenran looks different from Earth. Not only are they bigger, but the dragon's horns are straight instead of bifurcated like deer antlers. Moreover, there are only two dragon claws. Those who gather the dragon ball, tell me your wishes. No matter what they are, I can make three of them come true for you. Palunka's huge figure appeared in the air, lowering his head and asked the three people on the ground. Dandan, tell him to resurrect my parents beside me. Dong Wu said to Dandan. Dandan nodded and spoke his wish to Shenran in Namek language. I can't fulfill your wish. Each wish can only resurrect one person. Palenga said. Sure enough, this is the setting. Dong Wu, who was already mentally prepared, was not disappointed, so he used two wishes to revive his parents. As for the third wish, Dong Wu chose to ask for 100,000 fairy beans isn't that a bit too harsh? Your wish came true, so goodbye. Polinja fulfilled his wish and left. At the same time, Dong Wu had a universal capsule filled with 100,000 fairy beans. Next to Dong Wu, there was Saiyan, a man and a woman in their thirties, looking around blankly. Parrot, aren't we in hell? What's going on? Where are we now? The female Saiyan asked the male Saiyan next to her. Male Saiyan is 50 or 60% similar to Dong Wu. He is not strong in stature, and his height of 1.8 meters can only be considered average among Saiyans. The female Saiyan is very beautiful, but a little more wild than the average woman. These are Dong Wu's parents, Parrot and Zilia. I don't know either. This place looks like the legendary Namek. But Namek should be in the earthly world. Parrot frowned, and he was a little confused about the situation now. Dong Wu stood aside and said nothing. Although he had never seen it, 
The throbbing in his blood was clearly high. Dong Wu, these are the parents of his body. Yes, this is indeed Namek, and this is also the world of the underworld. Dong Wu said. It wasn't until Dong Wu spoke that the two of them noticed Dong Wu. Previously, I was so immersed in the huge changes in the environment that I didn't even notice anyone around me. Who are you? Saiyan, tell me what's going on. Parrot was very excited now and eager to know the situation. In addition, Saiyan has a bad temper, so his tone was quite rude. He didn't even pay attention to Dong Wu's appearance. I am a Saiyan, not bad, and I am a much stronger Saiyan than you. So, don't use a questioning tone, otherwise you won't be able to bear it. Although the education Dong Wu received in the original world was that filial piety comes first. But this is no longer the original earth, and by resurrecting his parents, he has repaid them for the gift of giving birth. In addition, he is not a fan of Saiyan's violence. Although he will not attack his parents like other Saiyans, he is not polite either. What are you talking about, kid? You're looking for death. Parrot suddenly became furious and raised his hand to launch a Qigong bomb with maximum energy. In his mind, he is a high-level Saiyan, and there are not many who are better than him on planet Vegeta. How dare a kid talk to me like this and say he is better than me? It was simply unforgivable, he wanted this brat to know how powerful Senior Saiyan was. The Qigong bomb emitted a blazing white light and rushed towards Dong Wu with powerful destructive power. The earth and rocks collapsed along the way, and even the clouds were blown away. I have to say that Parrot's combat effectiveness is pretty good, at least 8,000. And Cilia also has a combat strength of about 6,000, and is worthy of being a high-level Saiyan. In the original planet Vegeta, it was considered to have very high combat effectiveness. However, the difference is too big for today's Dong Wu. However, Dong Le was unhappy before Dong Wu took action. In her mind, no one can hit her brother, otherwise she will teach that person a lesson. Snort. Dong Le snorted, ducked in front of Dong Wu, and slapped away the Qigong bomb. You dare to attack my brother with this little fighting power. You are not even qualified to fight against my brother. Otherwise, since you are my brother's parents, I will crush you to death with just one finger. Dong Le said disdainfully. Indeed, with Dong Li's current combat power of close to half a million, Squeezing Parrot and Zilia to death is really not much more difficult than squeezing two ants to death. Of course, Dong Wu wouldn't let her do this. However, Parrot and Celia were shocked. Their son, Giles, from what this girl said, her fighting ability seems to be higher than this girl's. Hiss, the two of them took a breath, feeling that their brains were running out. Although they don't know Dong Li's specific combat power, Judging from his easy performance just now, he is indeed much more powerful than them. However, Giles is even more powerful than her. How high is the combat effectiveness? They dare not imagine. And more importantly, how old is Giles? It looks like his body is no more than four or five years old, but he has such a strong fighting ability. Could it be? The two of them thought of a possibility at the same time, but they couldn't believe it. In fact, Dong Le is almost six years old now, but because he has been sleeping for two years, his physical development is similar to that of a four-year-old. Giles, tell mom, are you the legendary Super Saiyan? Celia asked tremblingly. The legendary Super Saiyan is an invincible warrior who appears only once every thousand years. Facing Dong Wu, who may be the legendary Super Saiyan, they couldn't help but be excited. But Dong Wu disappointed them and shook his head. Dong Wu said, the legendary Super Saiyan is not me, but Brawly, the son of Paragus. And I didn't even become the Super Saiyan the day after tomorrow. Hiss, Brawly, the son of Paragus. That brat who was born with a fighting strength of 10,000. It's a pity that he was killed by King Vegeta, otherwise we Saiyan would definitely kill Frieza and dominate the galaxy. Parrot gasped and at the same time, regretfully. When Brawly and Son Goku were born, they were also on planet Vegeta. Therefore, he still knows about this genius. Brawly is not dead, not even Paragus, but now he is wandering in the universe. Dong Wu shook his head again. How is it possible? I saw with my own eyes that Brawly was stabbed through the heart with a sword, and even Paragus was killed. Parrot said in disbelief. However, Dong Wu did not explain any more. Seeing that Dong Wu was unwilling to say anything, Parrot stopped asking, but had some vague expectations in his heart. He didn't ask 
but Zilia accurately heard what Dong Wu said about the Super Saiyan the day after tomorrow. Son, you just said that Brawly is the legendary Super Saiyan. What happened to the Super Saiyan the day after tomorrow? Celia asked. Upon hearing Zelia's words, Parrot also pricked up his ears and was obviously more interested. Brawly is the legendary Super Saiyan. He was born with a fighting power of 10,000. And even if he doesn't practice, his strength will double every year. He can also undergo super transformation and will never tire of it. The more he fights, the braver and stronger he becomes. As long as if you can't kill him at once, he will basically kill him. Dong Wu told Chuan Chao's abnormality, and even Dong Wu was envious. Chuan Chao is simply a perfect warrior, except for his confusion. Sure enough, not only Parrot and Zilia, but also Dong Lu were shocked. She had never heard of Chuan Chao. It was the first time she heard about such a perverted person and she couldn't believe it. What about Super Saiyan the day after tomorrow? Celia asked. As for the acquired Super Saiyan, it is an ordinary Saiyan who becomes a Super Saiyan after training. However, the acquired Super Saiyan is a little different from the Xuan Chao Saiyan transformation. Dong Wu paused and continued. It is said that Saiyan's muscles will expand when he transforms, his speed will surge, and his hair will turn grass green. The strength of the transformation will be a hundred times that before the transformation. The day after tomorrow, Saiyan's body will not change, his hair will become golden, and his combat power will increase by 50 times. So, even an ordinary Saiyan can become a Super Saiyan through hard work. It's just not the legendary Super Saiyan. When Dong Wu said this, he looked at the shocked three people and stopped talking. Give the three of them time to digest. The three of them all thought that Super Saiyan was a legend and could only appear innately. They never thought that they could become Super Saiyan the day after tomorrow. Although the acquired Super Saiyan is not as good as Chuan Chao, it is still Super Saiyan. Thinking of this, the three of them were excited. After the excitement, Celia thought of a very critical question. How do you become a Super Saiyan? What are the conditions required? Why has no one in hundreds of years been able to become a Super Saiyan through hard work? This is a very critical question. Even if you know that an ordinary Saiyan can transform into a Super Saiyan, it is useless if you don't know the conditions for transformation. You know, there has been no Super Saiyan in Saiyan for hundreds of years, otherwise it would not have fallen to this. It's easy to say it's easy, but it's hard to say it's difficult. Dong Wu paused, and then said, if you want to transform into a Super Saiyan, you must achieve a certain level of combat effectiveness in the normal state, and then through extreme emotions and purity only your heart will do. A certain amount of combat power. Isn't tens of thousands of combat power enough? Why didn't King Vegeta, Burdock and other Saiyans transform into Super Saiyans? Parrot asked doubtfully. 10,000, does that count as combat power? Do you know Frieza's combat power? His normal state is 530,000, and he has three transformations. The highest combat power is 120 million. Do you want to transform into Super Saiyan with 10,000 combat power? Dong Dong Wu said disdainfully. Even if you can transform into a Super Saiyan with 10,000 combat power, the 50-fold increase only costs 500,000. How can you become the strongest warrior? 1. 120 million. Parrot couldn't close his mouth. Only then did he realize the gap between Saiyan and Frieza, and only then did he realize how ridiculous it was for King Vegeta to want to overthrow Frieza. How much combat power do we need to achieve? Celia was much more rational. Although she was surprised by Frieza's combat power, she was more concerned about the conditions for transformation. Depending on each person's qualifications, the minimum combat power is also different. However, the minimum is 3 million. Dong Wu shook his head. As for this minimum requirement, no Saiyan before Son Goku had reached it. Not to mention 3 million, not even more than 10,000. This has to be said to be the tragedy of being a fighting nation. If it were just like this, forget it. Instead, you would be arrogant and always think you are great. 3. 3 million. How can this be achieved? This is a height that is impossible to reach. Even Burdock, who has the best combat power, only has a combat power of more than 10,000 points. After hearing the basic combat power of 3 million, Parrot it was immediately shocking. For Parrot, who had a combat power of 10,000, 3 million was definitely out of reach. 
3 million combat power is the minimum requirement. Don't think that 3 million is difficult. In fact, Lele already has half a million combat power. As long as you find the right method and practice hard, it is definitely not a problem. Dong Wu shook his head, what should be said already said. As for whether he can transform or not, whether he has the perseverance or not is not something he can decide. As for the girl Dong La, she is raising her head with an expression of, I am very powerful. Parrot and Celia had been surprised enough today and were a little numb. Even a little girl has a combat power of 500,000, so how much should Dong Wu have? The two of them no longer dared to think about it, for fear that they would not be able to bear the blow. We are going back to Earth, where are you? Dong Wu asked. The two looked at each other and finally decided to go to Earth with Dong Wu. Knowing the gap between themselves and Frieza, they didn't dare to talk about revenge. Since Dong Wu and Dong Le have such high combat effectiveness, they believe there must be some secret, so they plan to join Dong Wu. Since the two decided to stay with him, Dong Wu would not refuse. After all, they were biological parents. However, what needs to be explained must still be explained, and we must not continue to kill people at every turn like before. After the two agreed, Dong Wu said goodbye to the great elder Namek, and the group flew to the earth. There is a gravity room over there, which can enhance gravity. Practicing in it can quickly increase combat effectiveness. After the spacecraft left Namek, Dong Wu took Parrot and Cilia into the gravity room to familiarize them with how to use it. A month passed and the group returned to Earth. We went there with two people and came back with four people. Not far from Baozi Mountain, where Sun Goku lived, four people built a house and settled down. I lived there for eleven years. Until, a girl with blue hair entered the area of Baozi Mountain. This girl is Bulma. The plot of Dragon Ball has officially begun. Bulma is seventeen years old, five years older than Sun Goku. According to real age, he is the same age as Dong Wu. It's just that Dong Wu has been sleeping for two years and looks a little younger than Bulma. And Son Goku is 12 years old this year. I don't know in this life whether Son Gohan taught Son Goku mathematics, and whether Son Goku will still regard the age after 11 as 14. But maybe fate dictates that. Although Son Gohan was not trampled to death by Son Goku, he still died a year ago. It's just that people who die of old age are considered to have died of old age. After Son Gohan died, Dong Wu did not take care of Son Goku. He will not interfere with Son Goku's growth, because Son Goku has his own way to go. Moreover, Son Goku today is much more powerful than in the original work at the same time. Son Goku, now 12 years old, already has a combat power of nearly a thousand. Compared with the eight points in the original work, it is completely different. Of course, in order to achieve the effect in the original work, Dong Wu specially found Master Roshi and taught Master Roshi martial arts to improve his combat effectiveness. This will make it easier for him to teach Son Goku. After all, Son Goku's success is absolutely inseparable from Master Roshi's early teachings. Master Roshi may have shortcomings of one kind or another, but one thing is undeniable. That is Master Roshi is indeed a master in martial arts. Poor combat effectiveness does not mean poor martial arts cultivation. The plot of Dragon Ball has begun, and I don't need to arrange the subsequent developments. It's time for me to go out for a walk and meet the strong men of the universe. Dong Wu has long wanted to go out for a walk, and has been on Earth for more than 10 years. It's really boring. With Dong Wu's current strength, he is considered a master even if he is earning a universe, let alone Earth. I don't know when I will be able to transform into Super Saiyan. Although Dong Wu is not in a hurry, he is still looking forward to it. However, plans can never keep up with changes. Just when Dong Wu was about to leave, a man appeared before he came to Dong Wu. A person Dong Wu never expected. Dong Wu's heart skipped a beat when he saw the person falling from the sky, covered in dried blood. Something happened, this was Dong Wu's only reaction. Iron Bear, what's going on? That's right, the person who came was none other than the Iron Bear from Proexing. Tia Shang is strong, warm-blooded and kind-hearted. He took great care of Dong Wu and Dong Le in Puluo Star. Although he looks vicious, he is always optimistic. But now the Iron Bear is not only covered in dried blood, but also has a sad expression. The fire in Dong Wu's heart suddenly arose. This is a fairy bean, eat it quickly. 
Dong Wu quickly took out a fairy bean and asked Iron Bear to take it. But Tia Shang didn't answer at all. He was very anxious and wanted to talk to Dong Wu in a hurry. But Dong Wu could see that he was just holding on for a breath, and it would be dangerous if he didn't receive treatment. Ignoring Iron Bear's objections, he opened his mouth and put it in. This is a fairy bean. If you eat it, you can recover from your injuries immediately. Tell me, what's going on? The fairy beans were so magical that Iron Bear's injuries healed immediately. But he didn't care whether it was a fairy bean or not, whether it was magical or not. Xiao Wu, Puo Xing was attacked by the frozen demon and was brutally massacred. Master was also killed by the frozen demon in order to protect me. Tai Shang, a man with a strong bones, was crying like a tearful man. It is the brothers, sisters, master, clan members and even the life of the entire planet that are being massacred all the time. Watching friends, brothers, sisters and master fall one by one. The grief and resentment in my heart can be imagined. You mean the frozen demon? Is it Frieza? Dong Wu didn't dare to neglect and asked hurriedly. Frieza is no small matter. Dong Wu is still unable to transform into Super Saiyan and is no match for Frieza. He needs to understand the situation so he can respond better. Frieza, no, it's a frozen demon named Rabish. The pronunciation is somewhat similar to the English word, waste. Iron Bear said, and then hurriedly said, I really don't know what to do now, the frozen demon is too powerful. They didn't even take action, but the little Luoluo under them is not something we can resist. I know you are strong, and I hope you can help Luo Sheng. Don't worry, I will definitely help you. No matter who it is, I will make him pay the price. Dong Wu said. The frozen demon clan is very powerful. The three frozen demons known to Dong Wu, Frieza, Cooler and Curd, all have combat strengths of over 100 million. The least powerful among them is Frieza, who also has a combat power of 120 million. However, Dong Wu has never heard of this frozen demon from Labish, and it has never appeared in the Dragon Ball anime and manga. I think it's because I didn't meet the protagonist. However, since it is a frozen demon, it must not be underestimated. They are born very powerful in combat, far beyond Saiyan. No more time, let's leave now. Dong Wu took Tai Shang and left without even informing Dong Le or his parents. Another point worth mentioning is that I don't know if the Earth in the Dragon Ball world is really special, or if it is something else. Not long after arriving on Earth, Parrot and Celia changed from their original violent and cruel nature, and now they have become kind-hearted. And he has also rescued ordinary people on Earth during many natural disasters. The Earth seems to be really suitable for changing a person. In the original work, Piccolo is like this and Vegeta is like this. Even Parrot and Celia are like this now. What's even more embarrassing for Dong Wu is. His parents actually gave him a younger sister and two younger brothers in these 11 years. Dong Wu was quite speechless. I should have known Saiyan was not interested in anything but fighting. On planet Vegeta, they wouldn't even think about having children if it weren't for the sake of preserving the species. That will delay your fight. However, within 11 years, his parents gave him two younger brothers and a younger sister. Could it be that planet Vegeta was destroyed and the number of Saiyans was too small, which inspired their desire to grow Saiyans? Dong Wu sometimes thinks like this. Now his second brother is eight years old, his third brother is five years old, and his fourth sister is three years old. In addition, Dong La already has four younger brothers and sisters. Moreover, the second, third, and fourth eldest children are all very talented. The second brother with the lowest combat power when he was born had 600, and the third brother with the highest combat power actually had 1002. It was beyond Dong Wu's expectation. Now that the family has settled down on Earth, Dong Le is teaching Parrot, Zilia and the three little guys how to practice. Proxing's spaceship is still very fast, a little faster than Dong Wu's spacecraft. It originally took a month to get from Earth to Pulu Star, but now it only takes 25 days. After getting off the spaceship and looking at the devastated Proxing, Dong Wu clenched his fists unconsciously. Anger, endless anger. Dong Wu has never hated a person or a race so much. But now, he was really irritated by being frozen. The frozen demons are not worthy of living in this world. I will definitely destroy you. 
Dong Wu told himself in his heart that the frozen demons are a cancer in the universe, and leaving them here will only harm the universe and all living things. Feeling that nearly two-thirds of the aura of Proexing was missing, Dong Wu could not wait to destroy the frozen demon immediately and destroy the frozen demon's planet. The loss of two-thirds of the breath means that two-thirds of the life on this planet has been killed. Frozen Demon, Death is not a pity. Don't think that there are only three frozen demons, Frieza and his son. How can three people become a race? In fact, there are many frozen demons, but the most powerful are Frieza and his son. Frieza's father, King Cold, is a sudden mutant with extraordinary combat power and a special type of frozen demon. Kurd's strength far exceeds that of other frozen demons, so he is the leader of the clan. Frieza was created by King Cold through reproduction. However, that doesn't mean that there are only three of them in the frozen demon clan. Rabbi Shi, the demise of the frozen demon begins with you. Dong Wu turned his head towards the direction of the powerful combat power that appeared in his induction. Three million combat power is indeed very powerful. However, no matter how powerful you are, I will defeat you. Dong Wu didn't even land on the ground and flew directly towards the powerful combat power. With a combat power of 1 million levels, he is already the dominant player in the universe. There are few that can match it. However, it is far behind compared to Dong Wu. I just don't know how many times this frozen demon has transformed, and whether it is in its strongest state. Dong Wu knew, however, that the frozen demon could transform. Dong Wu is flying very fast now, and it only takes 10 minutes to travel half a planet. What entered Dong Wu's eyes was a tall frozen demon. The body shape is somewhat similar to Frieza's third form, but there are quite a few differences. In particular, the head is not as round as Frieza, but has some edges and corners. Kurt is a mutant among the frozen demons. Not only is his combat power stronger than that of ordinary frozen demons, but his appearance is also quite different. It seems. Looking at the appearance of the frozen demon Rabish, Dong Wu was basically certain that this was Rabish's original state, which was the strongest state. The strongest state is 3 million, although it is considered a very strong master in the universe. But for me now, there is no pressure at all. If I had known, I would have asked Lele to come. Now Dong Le has a combat power of 3 million, although he is a bit cheating and scheming because of his teachings to Dong Wu's three younger siblings and parents. In other words, the Super Saiyan transformation is very close. As for Dong Wu, his combat power has already exceeded 10 million, reaching a terrifying 11 million. However, even so, Dong Wu still cannot transform into Super Saiyan. Son Goku can transform into Super Saiyan in anger with 3 million combat power. Vegeta, on the other hand, has a combat power of 500 million when he transforms, which means that Vegeta does not transform until he has a normal combat power of 10 million. Therefore, transforming into Super Saiyan has nothing to do with absolute combat power. The real reason is the limit of one's current state. In fact, this is related to each person's qualifications. Vegeta was born with a thousand combat points, and Son Goku was born with only two points. This innate gap is doomed. Therefore, Son Goku reaches his limit with 3 million combat power, while Vegeta only reaches his limit with 10 million. Although Son Goku has been surpassing Vegeta since then, that is because Son Goku has reached the limit and made breakthroughs before Vegeta time and time again. If two people reach the limit of the same stage at the same time, Vegeta is stronger than Son Goku. Some people say that Super Saiyan can transform after 3 million, through extreme anger. All Saiyans are the same, it has nothing to do with qualifications. Absolutely not, obviously Sun Goten and Trunks. They can transform into Super Saiyan at a very young age, and their transformations are much weaker than Sun Goku, Sun Gohan, and Vegeta. At that time, their combat power definitely did not reach 3 million. The obvious evidence is that Sun Goten transformed into Super Saiyan when he was sparring with Chi Chi Dragon Balls Episode 206. At that time, Sun Goden couldn't even beat Chi Chi. Although it was because he was too young to understand, Sun Goden has 3 million combat power, so even if he didn't understand anything, he wouldn't be so bad. Dong Wu, on the other hand, was born with a combat power of 900, although his potential at birth was not as good as Vegeta's. However, due to practicing the Dragon Elephant Wave Kung Fu, the veteran's potential has been continuously strengthened, and now he definitely surpasses Vegeta. 
As for physical fitness, the gap is even greater. I wonder if constantly increasing the potential in this way will cause trouble for the transformation, or will it never be possible to transform? This is what Dong Wu has always been worried about, so Dong Wu doesn't practice much after the seventh level of Long Shang Bo Ruo Gong. Practice again to transform into Super Saiyan. However, this worry is actually unnecessary. When it comes to physical potential, including Dong Wu, it is not as good as Brawly so far. However, Brawly was born as the legendary Super Saiyan. However, no one can teach Dong Wu this aspect, and he doesn't dare to take risks himself. Oh, here comes another little bug. As soon as Dong Wu arrived with the Iron Bear, the frozen demon Labish mocked and disdainfully said. Although Rabish is a bit arrogant, in today's universe, except for Frieza and his family, he has never met anyone stronger than him. Even if Kurd said there were powerful people in the universe, he didn't take it to heart. Rabish, if you were Frieza, Cooler or Kurd, I would really have to be careful. But you, you are not qualified to say this. Dong Wu mocked. With a combat power of 3 million, Dong Wu can kill instantly. But Rabish didn't know that. In addition, he was ambitious, otherwise he would not have conquered the city by himself besides Frieza and his son. However, he has been suppressed by the three people and has long been unwilling to accept it. Now that Dong Wu mentioned it, he suddenly became angry. Don't mention these three people to me. Go to hell. Rabbi Shi took action with hatred and used all his strength. But it was useless. Dong Wu easily caught Labish's attack and kicked him away. With just one kick, Rabish was seriously injured. How can you be so strong? Rabish roared angrily, but then raised the corner of his mouth, this is interesting, otherwise it would not be fun. In this case, I will show you my strongest strength. Quote. After Rabish finished speaking, ice white arrogance began to erupt from his body. Xiao Wu is so strong. Such a powerful frozen demon can't block a move. Tai Shang was surprised, but he was also happy from the bottom of his heart. The more powerful Dong Wu is, the safer Puluo Xing is. Proexing is saved. Comma. Although I am not as powerful as Frieza in combat, one thing I am stronger than him is that I have a higher level form. Frieza suppresses his own power through transformation, but I have developed enhanced powers based on my own power. The transformation of one's own power. Now in the entire Winter Star, only Cooler has this transformation. Watch out for me. Rabbi Shi roared angrily, and the arrogance on his body suddenly turned into a purple-red color like magma. The appearance has also changed, with sharper edges and corners, a crown on his head, and bone spurs growing on the joints on his body. It's very similar to Cooler's final transformation, except for the color difference. Cooler is overall purple with white areas. And Labish is all white, with no other colors at all. What's even more speechless is that the serious injury he suffered just now has completely recovered. Oh, Cooler has the same transformation. It's just that the difference in strength is huge. Dong Wu thought in his mind. Before Cooler transformed, Frieza's fighting ability was about the same, and his strength was limited. However, the fourth form has a combat power of 400 million, which is more than three times that of Frieza. However, after Rabish's transformation, he only had more than 6 million. I have to say that you are a genius, and you have actually developed a new transformation. Unfortunately, your basic strength is too poor. Dong Wu said expressionlessly. Although I really want to kill Rabish in one go, I can kill Rabish instantly. But he wanted to know the approximate strength of the frozen demon clan through Rabbi Shi, so that he could eradicate this race in the future. I can only hold back for now. Who can tell lies? Let me tell you, I am the most powerful frozen demon in the frozen demon family except Frieza's family. Let's see what I do. Labish is very confident, and his current form is his pride. After all, even Frieza and Kurd couldn't transform for the fourth time. Unfortunately, since Dong Wu knew the approximate strength of the frozen demon from his mouth, he had no intention of keeping him. If he is the strongest frozen demon except Frieza's family, then other frozen demons besides Frieza's family will not be a concern. Dong Wu smiled lightly, feeling much less stressed. After all, if the fighting power of the frozen demons is similar to that of Frieza, he really can't act rashly. But if there are only a few million combat power, then it doesn't matter. Thank you for telling me about the frozen demon. To thank you, I will send you to hell. 
Dong Wu grabbed Labish's fist and punched Labish away. How could Labish be Dong Wu's opponent? His combat effectiveness was nearly doubled. Moreover, Dong Wu's martial arts level is unmatched by Rabbi Shi Sun. A fight between two people cannot be called a battle. It should be said that an adult and a child were beaten unilaterally. I like beating elementary school students very much. What do you think, Labish? If this is your strongest combat power, and only Frieza and the other three are stronger than you as a frozen demon, then you will die here today. While Dong Wu beat Rabbi Shi physically, he also deliberately abused Rabbi Shi psychologically out of anger. It's not that Dong Wu doesn't want to kill Labish in an instant, it's not that he can't. But thinking of the tragic deaths of Wu Sheng Fengyi and other people in the martial arts academy, as well as the scenes of people being massacred this week, Dong Wu felt that he could not be allowed to die so happily. I let you know the feeling of being tortured and killed, and let you know the fear of death. Don't you like killing people very much? You must also like the feeling of being killed. Dong Wu continued to beat and verbally insult him. Saiyan, you stinky monkey. The stray dog whose planet was destroyed by Frieza, I will never let you go. Rabbi was scared, but he felt endless humiliation. In Winter Star, he has been suppressed and looked down upon by King Cold's family. Now, he was beaten by another Saiyan until he was helpless and as embarrassed as a dog. This was unbearable. If you don't let me go, so what? Today, you have to pay for the life of the person you killed, so that you can experience despair. Dong Wu struck harder, and every time, the rabbi was in pain. Once, twice, one minute, ten minutes. Dong Wu tortured Labish for half an hour. Rabbi Shi's body was completely bruised from the abuse. But Rabish is not dead yet. Although Dong Wu did not want to kill Labish at once, he did not do it lightly. If it were another race with the same fighting ability, even Saiyan wouldn't be able to hold on and would definitely not survive. Even a Namek with the ability to regenerate would basically die from such an injury. It has to be said that the Frozen Demon clan is indeed tenacious. The Frozen Demon family is also blessed with unique talents. They can survive in the vacuum of the universe, their combat power at birth far exceeds that of other races, they can recover from injuries and transform, and they have super vitality. Talented people are enviable. Ha, huh, someone is coming. Just when Dong Wu was about to kill Labish, he suddenly felt a powerful Qi approaching. This energy is very powerful, even stronger than Rabbi Shi, with 8 million. Also, the breath is very much like Labish. Another frozen demon, even stronger than Rabbi Shi. Dong Wu felt that he had been deceived. The new frozen demon was much stronger than Rabbi Shi. Although he is not as good as himself, he is by no means the strongest outside Frieza's family as Rabish said. At least, this person is much stronger than him. Hey, Rabish, you are really in a mess. You were beaten like this by a Saiyan monkey. It really embarrasses our frozen clan. The person coming was the standard third form of the Frozen Demon Clan, which is the original form. If there is no fourth transformation, then this is the strongest form. The man who came was a little shorter than Labish, but stronger. Les, stop talking sarcastically. This Saiyan monkey is very strong, and he is probably the Super Saiyan our ancestors called him. Now, if you join forces with me, you must kill him. Otherwise, our Frozen Clan will be doomed. Bishi couldn't care less about Les's cynicism now. He didn't want to die, so he spoke. However, despite saying he cares about the Frozen Clan, the Frozen Demon is actually very similar to Saiyan. For relatives and race, basically no idea. Even if they were all dead, they wouldn't feel anything. Oh, you mean Super Saiyan? Lex's expression suddenly turned serious when she heard Super Saiyan. Like Rabish, he didn't care at all about race. However, if it is Super Saiyan, it can threaten him. Therefore, there is no reason for him not to be serious, and there is no reason for him not to take it seriously. Saiyan is good, but Super Saiyan is not yet. Dong Wu waved his hand, but even if he is not Super Saiyan, dealing with you is still a piece of cake. After Dong Wu finished speaking, he came to Lex's side in a flash. So fast, Le Se didn't have time to react. As soon as the thought in her mind arose, she was punched down. Boom, Lex smashed a mountain directly. Puff. Lex opened her mouth and spat out a mouthful of blood, her heart filled with fear. One move, just one move and he was injured. What Labish said is true. This Saiyan is indeed very strong. I am no match. 
Is it really a Super Saiyan? But according to the legend left by our ancestors, the Super Saiyan should have golden hair. Les was puzzled, but the gap in strength naturally frightened him. Rabbi Shi, even if we join forces, we are no match. It seems that we can only use that one move. Lex reluctantly stood up and said to Rabbi Shi. I understand. Rabish nodded and said through gritted teeth. He originally planned to let Lise haunt Dong Wu and take the opportunity to escape secretly. However, seeing that Lex couldn't sustain a single move, he knew that he had no chance to escape. Oh, what other moves do you have? Dong Wu was interested, because he understood that the frozen demon seemed to have no other way to increase its combat power except transformation. But looking at the looks of these two people, they seem to have some special skills. Since you want to know, just keep your eyes open and watch. Lavish said and flew to Lex's side. The two looked at each other and made the same action at the same time. The Metamo combination technique. Are you cheating? Dong Wu was stunned for a moment, because their postures were really the same as the Metamo combination technique. You may not know much about the Metamo fusion technique, but you should know about the fusion technique between Goku and Vegeta or Goten and Trunks, right? This combination technique was learned by Son Goku from the Metama people in the underworld. No, I have to interrupt them. Otherwise, the multiplication of their combat power, even if it is multiplied by tens of thousands, is not something I can compete with. Dong Wu made an instant decision. One is 6 million and the other is 8 million. Even the energy is 6 million, and then the unit is 10,000. If you don't multiply it, just multiply 6 by 6, it's still 36 million. And Dong Wu only has 11 million. But just when Dong Wu was about to interrupt, a miracle happened. The two people actually created a move. However, Dong Wu was a false alarm. Two people do not merge into one, but one person concentrates all his energy on one person. It's a bit like the transmission of vitality. Ha 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 ha. This power, this power is too powerful. Saiyan, your end has come. It was Labish who received the energy. After all, he had a higher level of transformation and his physical endurance was stronger. At this moment, I accepted the energy of Les, and my confidence came back instantly. This is a secret technique from a planet we conquered. We both suffered a lot and almost fell down on that planet. However, it is all worth it. Without this energy, you will definitely die. Rabish may not know that villains often die from talking too much, otherwise they wouldn't be so talkative. It's indeed good. It concentrates the energy of two people on one person. Dong Wu nodded lightly, this secret technique was pretty good. The principle is quite similar to Spirit Bomb. Sun Goku learned Spirit Bomb and often gathered the energy of many people to create Spirit Bomb. Through the principle of Spirit Bomb, Sun Goku also developed the ability to gather other people's chi to restore physical strength and combat effectiveness. At this time, through a similar method, Rabish's combat power reached 12 million, which was 1 million higher than Dong Wu. Chapter 21 Dong Wu now has a fighting strength of 11 million, while Rabish has 12 million. The difference in combat effectiveness is almost 10%. Normally, Rabish would have the upper hand. But Dong Wu is different. His martial arts level is much higher than that of Rabbi Shi, and his physical fitness is stronger. The muscles and bones are like a dragon, and the brute strength is like an elephant. The dragon elephant wave is like suppressing evil spirits. Boom, the two men fought together, fist to fist colliding hard. Ah, the two men roared and tried their best. Originally, Dong Wu's combat effectiveness was lower and his strength was weaker, but Dong Wu's physical fitness almost completely made up for this. Whoosh. The two fought evenly, but were both deflected by the powerful force and energy. However, Dong Wu's strength is still slightly inferior. When the two fight against each other, Dong Wu has a slight disadvantage. Dong Wu retreated slightly further than Rabbi Shi, but not much, and the gap was not obvious. Saiyan, my power has surpassed yours. Today, you must die. This slight difference is obvious to a master like Rabish. Rabbi Shi smiled ferociously. He wanted to repay the humiliation Dong Wu had just given him twice as much. However, Dong Wu didn't care. Although Rabish's dual strength is slightly stronger than him, it is still very weak. With Dong Wu's fighting skills and martial arts realm, he will never lose to Labish. Someone is going to die today, but you or I don't know. After Dong Wu finished speaking, 
he stopped talking nonsense and rushed directly to lavish. Dong Wu's fighting prowess is such that no opponent has been able to match him in sparring for a long time. Even if his combat power is suppressed, his keen senses allow him to easily suppress ordinary warriors. His pure physical strength is almost close to 1 million combat power without even a single breath of energy. Now on earth, no one can fight him except Dongla, Zilia and Parrot. This rabbish is a good opponent. Stronger than myself, but not strong enough to crush. It is very suitable for sparring and training yourself. Stop being arrogant, today I will show you the power of my frozen clan. Lavish also rushed towards Dong Wu. Boom boom boom. A series of attacks and collisions started on this planet, and the earth was shaking under the collision. If you are outside the planet, you will find that the entire planet is shaking. Bang. Dong Wu was punched in the chest, but he kicked Lavish in an instant. Both flew backwards quickly, Dong Wu smashed a mountain, and Lavish was kicked directly underground, smashing the ground and rocks. Ha, huh, not coming out. Dong Wu flew directly into the sky, but found that Lavish had not come out. Although the blow just now was very powerful, it was not fatal to Lavish. Even a minor injury. So that's it, are you planning a sneak attack? Dong Wu sensed Lavish's anger and raised the corners of his mouth slightly, revealing a hint of mockery. None of the frozen clan can sense Ki, so if this move was used against Frieza, it would probably be successful. However, as Dong Wu, who is able to sense Qi, is like a firefly in the dark night, it is so dazzling. Since you want to be a mouse, let me let you know that this behavior is very stupid. Dong Wu gathered an energy bomb in his hand, always locking Labashi's energy. Coming, Rabbi Shi came to Dong Wu's feet, but Dong Wu was already ready. Go to hell, Rabbi Shi yelled, raising an energy bomb and trying to hit Dong Wu. Unfortunately, Dong Wu was faster than him, and an energy bomb hit Labish one step ahead. Boom, I remembered the explosion, and dust and smoke were flying. When the dust settled, Rabish was revealed. However, the impact is not very good. His body was injured in many places, and there was blood at the corner of his mouth. How did you find me? Rabbi Shi was angry, but he didn't expect to steal the chicken but lose the rice. Not only did Saiyan not get this sneak attack, he was also injured by a counter-surprise attack. Rabish's expression became more and more ferocious, he really looked like a demon. I won't let you go, you die. Rabish had decided to fight this Saiyan in an upright manner. At least this way, you won't suffer a big loss. Dong 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 dong, bang bang boom. The two of them returned to the original close combat, each punch and kick carrying their own martial arts and planet-destroying power. However, the two of them just used their strength to hit each other as much as possible, so that Puo Xing could not be shattered. In a close fight, with the speed and strength of the two of them, any moves would be useless. Raw speed and power are the main themes of the battle. Soon, the two fell out again. If you are fighting close to the enemy, you will be hit if you make a mistake. No one can guarantee that they will not be hit. Even Dong Wu, the unity of heaven and man, fell into the trap. Moreover, the injury was not serious. However, Rabbi Shi was even worse. Its martial arts level is insufficient and it was hit more times in the battle with Dong Wu. Moreover, his physical fitness is not as good as Dong Wu's, and his ability to resist beatings is much worse. Therefore, if Dong Wu is injured, he is miserable. Okay, great. Ha ha ha, Dong Wu felt the pain, and his body trembled unconsciously. This was not fear, but excitement. As a fighting nation, Saiyan is born to enjoy fighting. Dong Wu thought that he had already suppressed this nature, and he kept improving his strength just because he didn't want to die in the hands of others. However, now I know that this enjoyment of fighting is integrated into the bone marrow and blood. Now, I am completely inspired. Come on, Rabbi Shi, come again. Dong Wu was as excited as a virgin going to whoring, and kept attacking and attacking. Rabish was confused by this sudden change and his madman-like fighting style. He was beaten so hard that he was in a hurry. But Rabish was no waste after all. He quickly adjusted himself and regained his fighting rhythm. After that, there was fighting, and the competition involved speed, strength and ability to withstand blows. Rabbi's power is slightly stronger than Dong Wu's, and his speed is also slightly faster. However, Wudong has a high level of martial arts and strong ability to withstand attacks. 
The two of them really fought, and they were evenly matched. The two have been fighting with their bodies, and occasionally using Qigong bombs. However, human physical strength is limited after all, and it is impossible to be like an artificial human. An hour later, Dong Wu began to breathe. However, Labish's physical fitness and physical strength are far inferior to Dong Wu. Dong Wu was out of breath, and Labashi was almost exhausted. It is difficult to conduct an effective offense nowadays. Rabbi Shi, it seems you have no energy left. Thank you for training with me for so long. I haven't fought so happily for a long time. Dong Wu said, breathing heavily and with scars all over his body. To thank you, and for the lives in the universe that you killed. Now, go to hell. Dong Wu gathered an energy bomb and hit Labish hard. If it were at the beginning of the battle, Rabish would definitely be able to dodge and deflect this energy bomb. But now, he has no physical strength, and can only watch his body being submerged by energy bombs and disappearing. No, these were Rabbi Shi's last words before his death, which can be regarded as his last words. Hiss, it hurts. This Rabbi Shi is really good. It seems that the frozen clan really shouldn't be underestimated. Dong Wu's whole body was covered in wounds, and the blood almost dyed his clothes red. His current injury is very serious. If it were not for his tenacious vitality, he would not be able to stand up again with this kind of injury. He didn't expect it to be so difficult, and he couldn't overcome it until Labish's physical strength was exhausted. However, after this battle, Dong Wu felt that he had a deeper understanding of various fighting methods, and his fighting skills were as good as his own. But thinking of the frozen demon, Dong Wu suddenly remembered that there was another joy. No, don't kill me. Seeing Rabish die in battle, Lex was already frightened. After gathering the strength of two people, they were both killed, not to mention that he had no energy now. Don't worry, I won't kill you for the time being. But you have to tell me how many frozen demons there are in Winterstar and how many masters there are. If it's the truth, I'll let you go. Dong Wu smiled very kindly, but dropped in Lex's eyes, everything feels sinister. But if you lied, I'd be sorry. Did you see Rabish? He said he was the strongest ice demon besides Frieza and his son. So, he is dead. No, I won't. I must tell the truth, tell the truth. Looking at Dong Wu's evil smile, Les nodded repeatedly, and then went to pour beans into the bamboo tube, asking questions. Although I don't know whether it is true or not, my answer is quite clear. So, Labish isn't lying too much, is he? Dong Wu touched his chin, and his expression was indeed similar to what Labish said. Although there are some differences, they are similar. For example, Rabish is indeed the only person other than Cooler known to have had a fourth transformation. Apart from Frieza's family of three, the ones with the highest fighting prowess are Labish and Lex. Moreover, because Labish has the fourth transformation, his physical strength is stronger than that of an ordinary frozen demon, so even if Lex fights him, he will not be able to take advantage. As for Winter Star, there are now a total of 10,000 frozen demons, which is fewer than the Saiyan of Planet Vegeta. Actually, the reason why the population of the frozen tribe in the Winter Star is so small is because of Saiyan. There was a Super Saiyan who led many races in the universe to attack the Winter Star together. As a result, the Frozen Tribe was almost extinct. The last remaining Frozen Tribe, after thousands of years, the reproduction resulted in the current population. At this point, we have to say that the Frozen Clan, like the Namek people, also reproduce through themselves. However, unlike the Namek people who spit out eggs, the Frozen Demon uses its own cells to culture and reproduce the next generation. However, the frozen clan cannot reproduce by taking just any cell, but by taking special reproductive cells. Generally, a frozen demon can only reproduce one offspring. It is only because the frozen demon has a long lifespan that the population can be increased to 10,000. Although the lifespan of a frozen demon varies depending on qualifications, it is generally around 1,000 years. Frieza and Kurd have a lifespan of 1,500 years, and the most terrifying one is Cooler, who has a lifespan of 1,800 years. As for why Kurds can reproduce two children, this is still related to his individual variation. Originally, Kurds were also ordinary frozen demons. After breeding Cooler, they were originally unable to reproduce. However, what people didn't expect was that he mutated by chance. So he had the ability to reproduce again, and this time Frieza was born. 
Therefore, Curd prefers Frieza, and Frieza has greater potential than Cooler. Oh, no wonder Frieza's family wanted to destroy planet Vegeta and exterminate Saiyan. It turned out to be revenge and fear of being attacked by Super Saiyan again. Dong Wu also didn't expect that Saiyan and the Frozen Demon still have such hatred. He had seen the theatrical version of Burdock and thought Frieza destroyed planet Vegeta just because Burdock defeated Child. It turns out that the hatred has been around for a long time. Of course, the Frozen Demon's family and racial concepts are not strong. Therefore, what Frieza is most afraid of is the appearance of Super Saiyan in Saiyan, which will become an obstacle for him to dominate the universe. However, a lifespan of more than a thousand years. The creator really treats you, the Frozen Clan, very favorably. Dong Wu had to sigh with envy. Even if he is as powerful as Super Saiyan, it only lasts a hundred years, but a random frozen demon can actually reach that level. Thousands of years of life. Kurd and Frieza, who are the most talented, are even more than 1,500 years old. Cooler has a terrifying lifespan of 1,800 years. It must be said that this is another place where the frozen demon clan is envied and hated. However, there are advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage of the Frozen Clan is that the power of most Frozen Demons is difficult to increase through practice and can only be passively increased with age. Including Cooler and Curd, strength cannot be cultivated. Therefore, even though Cooler is much older than Frieza, due to his talent, his power is about the same as Frieza's. Of course, the fourth level of transformation is a developed ability, or the moves are more suitable. In fact, including the Super Saiyan transformation, it is not an increase in one's own power, but a form of super explosion. However, the Super Saiyan transformation is still necessary, because if you cannot transform, you will not be able to break your own shackles and continue to increase your basic combat power. Super Saiyan's transformation again and again breaks the shackles again and again, allowing the body's basic combat power to continue to grow. Therefore, the Super Saiyan transformation is not actually a higher form, but a means. A means for breaking out into battle and breaking down shackles. In the original work, Seven Dragon Balls, the old Supreme Kai said that Super Saiyan transformation is not advisable, and normal combat power is the right way. Because of this, the mysterious lunch appeared. Mystery lunch integrates the transformation power of Super Saiyan into normalcy. Very good. Since you said what I want, I will let you go as I said. You go. Dong Wu waved his hand and said nonchalantly. Xiao Wu, you can't let him go, otherwise the consequences will be disastrous. Tai Shang didn't speak, just watching quietly from the side. However, when he saw Dong Wu leaving happily, he immediately reminded him anxiously. No, it won't happen. From now on, I will definitely stay in Winter Star and never come out again. Le Se was afraid that Dong Wu would regret it, so she hurriedly promised. However, he was thinking about how to get revenge on Luo Xing and Dong Wu. I will report to King Cold when I get back and tell him that Super Saiyan has appeared. When the time comes, all of you will die without a burial place. Lex said angrily in her heart. His hatred and humiliation are higher than the sky and deeper than the sea. Dong Wu looked at his submissive expression and the fierce glint in his eyes and knew that Le Se would not be as obedient as he said. However, it happened that Dong Wu didn't really intend to let him go. You go, I keep my word, I will let you leave when I tell you to leave. Dong Wu looked at Tia Shang who wanted to say something more, and waved his hand to signal him not to speak. Seeing Dong Wu really let herself go, Le Se couldn't believe it. He asked himself, if it were him, he would definitely eradicate the root cause. It seems that Saiyan still hasn't gotten rid of his self-righteousness. But it's better this way. When I go back, you will die. Joy and a hint of coldness flashed in Leza's eyes. But he concealed it very well and showed great gratitude, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. I will definitely change my mind when I go back and won't do bad things again. Lex said, quickly flying towards the universe spacecraft. Lex quickly boarded the spaceship. As for the remaining universe people, he didn't even look at it. Watching Lex piloting the spaceship gradually away from the ground of Prostar, thinking about flying into space, Dong Wu showed a mocking smile on his lips. Dong Wu didn't believe a word of Le Say's words about not doing bad things and not appearing in the Winter Star. But let him first raise his hopes, and then destroy him. 
Only in this way is it interesting and worthy of these villains. Moreover, Dong Wu means what he says. Let him leave if you tell him to leave, but if he takes action after he leaves, it won't be considered as going back on his word. Just let him live a little longer. Slowly, Lex's spaceship emerged from the atmosphere of Pulu Star. An energy bomb slowly condensed in Dong Wu's hand. Smashing Light Cannon This is one of several energy bombs developed by Dong Wu during his years on Earth. The main function is to crush and obliterate. In addition, Dong Wu also developed the Penetrating Light Killing Cannon and the Gravity Light Killing Cannon. Among them, the Penetrating Light Killing Cannon, as its name suggests, has super penetrating ability. As for the Gravity Light Kill Cannon, it is mainly used for its majestic momentum and when facing waves with people. This crushing light cannon was originally developed for Majin Buu. It is your honor to let you enjoy it in advance. With that said, Dong Wu threw the energy bomb that shattered the light kill cannon towards Lisei's spaceship. Les didn't even have a chance to react, and was smashed to pieces along with the spacecraft, obliterating even the ashes. As for the remaining universe people, they followed the frozen demon to invade other planets and killed countless people. Naturally, Dong Wu would not let them survive. Thank you, Xiao Wu. Thank you for avenging the lives of teachers and Luo Sheng, and for saving the remaining lives of Luo Sheng. Tai Shang watched Dong Wu kill the frozen demon and other people in the universe, and he felt grateful again, said sadly. After all, the frozen demon was killed. But the Puluo star beings killed by them could not survive. However, there was nothing Dong Wu could do. Because Proxing's life has been dead for a long time, the body has been damaged. Earth's Dragon Ball cannot resurrect such a person. And Namek's Dragon Ball can only resurrect one person at a time. If you want to resurrect the life of Proxing, unless they have a physical body after death. Just like Son Goku and the others, except for having a halo on their head and living in the underworld, they are no different from ordinary people. If you pay attention, you will find that after death, the soul of a living being generally has no body when Goku is taken to the underworld by the gods. But very powerful beings and people with great merit will have physical bodies after death. Don't be sad, Tai Shang. I will find a solution. Dong Wu comforted Tai Shang. In fact, he doesn't have any good ideas. Now there is no change restriction on the Namek Dragon Ball, and the Earth Dragon Ball has not gone through the elixir enhancement function, so there is really no way to restore Pulu Sheng. Frowning, I could only try my best. Martial Saint Feng Yi teaches martial arts, improves the combat effectiveness of the planet, and protects the planet. He should have great merits, and his body may be preserved. Let me give it a try. Thinking of this, Dong Wu turned on the communicator on the spacecraft and contacted Dong La. Tell her about Puluo Xing and let her use the Dragon Ball to resurrect the life of Puluo Xing that was killed and can now be resurrected. What? Those people are so hateful. Fortunately, my brother killed them, otherwise I would have beaten him to death. Dong Le was furious when he heard about Puo Xing. After knowing that Dong Wu had eliminated the bad guys, he quickly went to collect the Dragon Ball. The matter of Puo Xing is almost over by this time. After the Dragon Balls are collected, those who can be resurrected will be resurrected, and those who cannot be resurrected, Dong Wu has nothing to do. Just as Dong Wu was about to leave, he suddenly felt a very weak but extremely evil chi in the distance. This chi is still far away, but the direction is coming in this direction. Dong Wu frowned and began to concentrate on sensing the chi. This energy, it's Saiyan again. Dong Wu suddenly felt that Saiyan was not as rare as the legend said. You see, the universe is so big, but he met two Saiyans in a row in one month. Let's not talk about the previous 10,000-year-old Vegeta, but now there is another strange Saiyan appearing. Did Saiyan really be almost destroyed? Dong Wu actually didn't believe it. There were only a few Saiyans and mixed race Saiyans from the original work in the universe. You should know that only Saiyan babies who are above the intermediate level will be raised at planet Vegeta. Low level Saiyans are all exiled to alien planets, and hundreds or even thousands of low level Saiyan babies are exiled every year. Over the past few decades, this number has become quite large. Many died in the battle, and many returned. But less than 10% came back, otherwise Saiyan would not be so few. Did the remaining 90% die in the battle? Impossible. Thinking about it this way, Dong Wu felt that there should be quite a few Saiyans in the universe. 
Although it cannot be said that there are very many, it is not like in the original book that there are only three or two big cats and kittens left. I don't know if it's the Saiyan who appeared in the original work or the unknown Saiyan. Dong Wu waited in Puluo Star to see which Saiyan would be so evil. Just talk about the degree of evil, not the combat effectiveness. People like Vegeta who have killed countless people can be called good citizens. Saiyan didn't let Dong Wu wait long. Within half a day, a huge spacecraft entered the atmosphere of Puluo Star. This proxing is really in trouble. If I hadn't appeared, it would have definitely been destroyed. Dong Wu felt sad for proxing. Just after the frozen demon was dealt with, another evil Saiyan came. Pulu Star is so close to the Earth, but it does not appear in the original work. It is estimated that it was destroyed at that time. It's such a planet with rich vitality. I think it will definitely produce powerful spiritual tree fruits. The visitor had a crab head and an angular face. He is very similar to Sun Goku when he grows up, I don't know who is older, Sun Goku or Turles, the book assumes that Turles is an adult. After seeing the face of the visitor, Dong Wu knew who it was. This is Saiyan, Turles who appears in the Seven Dragon Ball movie version. Turles, like Sun Goku, is a subordinate Saiyan. And fortunately, he got the spirit tree seeds and increased his strength by eating the spirit tree fruits. In the theatrical version, it once caused a lot of trouble to Sun Goku and all the warriors on Earth. Oh, it turns out that Turles has already obtained the spirit tree seeds. It seems that he came to Puloxing to plant spirit trees. Seeing Turles take out a seed in his hand, the corners of Dong Wu's mouth turned up. He was really dozing off and someone gave him a pillow. What Dong Wu values is not the power of the fruit of the spiritual tree. Dong Wu doesn't take it lightly. What he values is the vitality of the fruit of the spiritual tree. Once the spiritual tree is planted on a certain planet, it will absorb the energy of the entire planet and bear the fruit of the spiritual tree. Although it can increase strength, it is just a matter of discarding the basics and chasing the last. The most powerful thing about the fruits of the spiritual tree is to replenish and enhance one's vitality. Although Dan Tian in Dong Wu is like a source, constantly gushing out vitality, but for the current level of Dong Wu Long Shang Bo Ruo Gong, it is still a bit slow. If it can be supplemented by the fruits of the spiritual tree, I believe it will be more perfect. It's called a fruit that only gods can enjoy. It's very, very good. Dong Wu felt that he was really lucky. Looking at the spiritual tree seeds in Turl's hands, Dong Wu was ready. Oh, there are two more living people. But the combat power is only a few hundred, which is really rubbish. Turl's also noticed Dong Wu and Iron Bear. Iron Bear's real combat power is only a few hundred, but after Dong Wu calmed down, he could only use a detector to reach a few hundred. So Turl's didn't take Dong Wu and Iron Bear to heart at all. I'll plant the spirit tree first, and then deal with these two people. Thinking, Turles threw the spirit tree fruit away. When the seeds of the spiritual tree fall to the ground, they will automatically take root and grow without the need to bury them deeply. Once it takes root, it will absorb the energy of the entire planet to bear fruit. However, the moment Turles threw the seed, Dong Wu moved. Turles didn't even realize that the spirit tree seeds had already arrived in Dong Wu's hands. Spirit trees should not be planted on living planets. Moreover, it is really a waste to put this kind of magical thing on you. Dong Wu played with the seeds of the spirit tree and looked at Turles playfully. There is nothing special about the appearance of spirit tree seeds, and they are not much different from ordinary seeds. But who would have thought that such an ordinary seed would absorb the energy of the entire planet and turn it into a desert after being planted? Asshole, who are you? Give me back my seed. Turles's lungs exploded with anger, someone dared to steal his things. Turles' current combat power is not very high, only more than 2000. He must have just obtained the spiritual tree seeds and has not had time to plant them. Otherwise, it should have more than this combat effectiveness. I told you, putting this thing on you is a waste. You want it, come and get it. Dong Wu put the seed in his arms with disdain, not caring about Turles' anger. Asshole. How dare you underestimate Saiyan and Uncle Turles. I will let you know what regret is and what pain is. Turles' face turned green with anger and he hit Dong Wu angrily. Bang! Turles' fist hit Dong Wu on the forehead. This was Dong Wu's intention. Otherwise, with Turles' speed, it would have been impossible to even touch the corner of his clothes. Die! 
The moment Turles hit Dong Wu, a Qigong bullet rushed out of his fist and hit Dong Wu on the head. Boy, if you dare to underestimate your uncle Turles, this will be your fate. Just this little power. If that's the case, I really don't regret it. Dong Wu's voice came out of the smoke and dust, and his figure was gradually revealed, even his clothes were not torn. How? How is it possible? I hit with all my strength and nothing happened. You obviously only have a few hundred combat power. Turles was confused by the fact before him. The gap between Turles and Xiao Wu is too big. Even the two frozen demons are no match for Xiao Wu, let alone this Turles. Tai Shang knows how powerful Dong Wu is. Although Turles is much stronger than him, he is not as good as Dong Wu. It's much worse than that. It's not that I underestimate Saiyan, it's that I underestimate you. Your little strength is not enough to scratch an itch. Dong Wu flicked the non-existent dust on his clothes, and then slapped Turles in the face with his tail. Also, don't believe it too much, detector. Ah, Turles screamed and flew out like an ordinary person hit by a high-speed train. Tails, are you Saiyan too? Only then did Turles notice Dong Wu's tail and knew Dong Wu Saiyan's identity. Although Turles is an exiled lower-level Saiyan warrior, his brain is not damaged. Saiyan's attempt is still known. Yes, I am indeed Saiyan. And much stronger than you. Dong Wu shrugged his shoulders, and then said, you go ahead. Saiyan's power is obtained through practice, not through the shortcut of eating the fruit of the spirit tree. Dong Wu is indeed qualified to say this. He currently has 11 million combat power, and he really doesn't care about the thousands of combat power increased by one fruit. What he cares about is just the effect of the fruit of the spirit tree on replenishing vitality. What you say is nice. Didn't you steal the spirit tree seeds just to eat the fruits to enhance your fighting power? But I am not your opponent, so I admit defeat. Although Turles was unhappy, he was still single. He was no match for Dong Wu, so he gave up decisively. When Turles turned to leave, Dong Wu said again, let me remind you, Kakarot, who is also a lower level Saiyan warrior and was born with only two combat strengths, already has more than a thousand combat strengths at the age of 11. And his super speed is getting faster and faster. It's coming faster and faster. His achievements are entirely the result of practice. The reason why Dong Wu reminded Turles was not to let this evil Saiyan go. However, there really aren't many Saiyans left, and every one he can save is one. Dong Wu was a Chinese in his previous life, and he attached great importance to the continuation of the race. Of course, if he still does evil, Dong Wu will not let him go again. Another very important point is if this guy also becomes Super Saiyan. How interesting will it be to meet two Super Saiyans who are exactly the same as Son Goku? Dong Wu is not a bad person, but he is not a holy mother either and cannot be great enough to save the universe. If you encounter someone, take action without threatening yourself. There is no need to touch it. Turles paused, boarded the spacecraft and left. Dong Wu didn't stop him, and Tai Shang didn't say anything. I don't know if Turles can still receive those five men without the spirit tree seeds. At this moment, Dong Wu suddenly felt that Puo Zing's energy had increased. It seems that Lele has made a wish with the Dragon Ball. Dong Wu sighed inwardly. For a master like Dong La, it is too easy to collect Dragon Balls on the Earth with Dragon Ball Radar. Soon, Auras suddenly appeared in Puluo Star, one-fifth of the original number in Puluo Star. In other words, there are still nearly half of the lives of Proexing, and it is impossible to resurrect them. After all, it is impossible for everyone to survive in a physical body after death. But this way, Dong Wu is quite satisfied. It's better than not being able to resurrect anyone at all. Feeling the aura of martial arts academy Feng Yi and most of the disciples. Dong Wu patted Tia Shang on the shoulder and said goodbye with a smile. Martial Saint and most of the martial arts academy disciples have been resurrected. Tai Shang, please go back. I have to leave too. Dong Wu's words stunned Tia Shang, and then he opened his mouth in disbelief. What? You said they were resurrected. How is that possible? How can people be resurrected after death? As for why, don't ask. It's enough for you to know that they are still alive. Dong Wu did not explain any more, and walked towards his spaceship after finishing speaking. Xiao Wu, since Master Wusheng has been resurrected, don't you go and meet them. Tai Shang felt that Puo Xing should thank Dong Wu. Dong Wu just left like this, and he couldn't explain it. However, 
Dong Wu had just obtained the spirit tree seeds and was thinking of trying the effects quickly. So I rejected Iron Bear's proposal. The spacecraft quickly left Pulu Star and landed on an uninhabited planet. There is no life on this planet yet, not even plants. Just here, let me see how magical the spirit tree fruit is. Dong Wu threw the spirit tree seeds at his feet, smiled and took a few steps back. When I watched Seven Dragon Ball before, I also saw this theatrical version, and there was also discussion about the fruit of the spirit tree online. But these are all speculations, and no official explanation has been given. It's just that this is a fruit eaten by gods. It absorbs the vitality of the planet and can enhance combat effectiveness and vitality. As for more, there is no evidence. The spiritual tree grows very fast, growing from a seed to a towering tree in just a few minutes, and it continues to climb. The ground of the planet withered and turned into gravel at a speed visible to the naked eye. Dong Wu knew that this was the reason why the planet had absorbed its vitality, and it would be impossible for a single weed to grow in the next few hundred years. Soon, the planet's vitality dried up, and the spiritual tree also bore red fruits that looked like dragon fruit. Sure enough, he looks just like in the anime. Dong Wu picked a fruit and ate it casually, and instantly a shocking amount of vitality rushed into his body. You know, the vitality of the entire planet has only grown into 20 or 30 fruits. You can imagine how much vitality there is in this fruit. After this energy enters the body, part of it is instantly converted into energy, increasing the strength of the energy. Some of it is turned into vitality to replenish the body's needs. And the two together are less than 10% of the vitality. The largest part accounts for 90%, and this 90% is emitted through the pores and is completely wasted. However, how could Dong Wu allow this to happen? The earthly martial arts he practiced required sufficient vitality to evolve himself. Dong Wu quickly closed the pores on his body and locked the vitality in his body. Then, the dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong was activated. Send huge vitality to the major acupoints that have been opened to replenish the lack of vitality in the acupuncture points. The excess vitality was used by him to open other acupuncture points. If it were the body of the original world, if such a huge energy was locked in the body, the body would definitely explode into ashes. But this world is too different. People can destroy planets and even galaxies. The body's capacity and strength are far beyond the original Earth. Boom boom. Sufficient vitality was driven by Dong Wu, and a series of acupuncture points on the Longxiang Boruo Gong were opened. After opening, the vitality goes into the acupuncture points to replenish them. Comfortable, Dong Wu felt unprecedented comfort and satisfaction, and groaned unconsciously. One spirit tree fruit opened Dong Wu's 24 acupuncture points. Including those opened by the Great Elder, 36 acupuncture points have been opened. There are three meridians and seven chakras in Longxiang Boruo Gong, while Taoism has eight extraordinary meridians and twelve main meridians. However, it remains true to its roots, and its principle is to open acupuncture points and evolve oneself. However, because each acupuncture point has different effects and different martial arts open different acupuncture points, there are differences in martial arts. Some martial arts major in Sha Dantian, and then they will be very powerful. You can stay young by majoring in midfield. If you major in Dantian, your mind will be bright. Other major points also have their own functions. However, although the Taoist temple where Dong Wu lived in his previous life integrated the three religions of Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism, Taoism was still the main focus. And 36 is a very special number in Daojia. She represents the number of Tiangong and is the perfection of Tiangong. Special changes will occur. And 72 is the perfection of earth evil. If 108 major acupuncture points are opened, it means that the week is perfect. And Dong Wu is now in Tiangong consummation, and his body has indeed undergone amazing changes. When Dong Wu opened the 36th acupuncture point, these 36 acupuncture points suddenly connected together in a special way, forming a mysterious cycle. The three single fields above, middle and lower are the core and continue to go back and forth. The upper Dantian is the residence of God, the seat of the spirit and soul. Zongdan Tian is the source of one's own vitality. It automatically generates vitality in a mysterious way, making people live longer and delay aging. The order field is the source of essence, which is generated like a spring to replenish the essence of the body and keep the body strong. 
Now, it is combined with other acupuncture points to form the number of Tiangong, melted into one, connected with each other, and each performs its own duties. The combination of essence, energy and spirit, under the mysterious combination of Tiangong acupuncture points, is condensed into a mysterious combination of essence, energy and spirit that is like the Yuan Shen in Taoist legend. After this combination is formed, it is combined with the entire body and is no longer separated from each other. In other words, his body is his soul and his soul is his body. As long as the body is not annihilated, even if there is only one cell left, it can be restored with sufficient strength. Including body and soul. This ability reminds Dong Wu of Majin Bu. The same is true for Majin Bu, even if there is only one cell left, he can fully recover. However, I don't know whether the principles of the two are the same. And that's not all, Dong Wu's physical body began to undergo special changes under the combined power of various mysterious energies at the Tiangong acupoint. The cells began to disintegrate and reassemble in ways Dong Wu couldn't understand. What is useless is eliminated from the body, and what is useful is tightened. It hurts. This is Dong Wu's only feeling and thought, because his soul is integrated with the body. The disintegration of cells is equivalent to the crushing of the soul. Can it not hurt? However, this change was very fast, and it was over as soon as Dong Wu felt it. I have to say that this is another place where the world of Dragon Ball is different. If it were in Dong Wu's original world, the entire body, let alone cells, would be disintegrated and reborn. It takes more than this amount of time for even a cell to divide. Boom! After the physical body was transformed, the moment Dong Wu stood up, the air made a violent explosion. This body, this power! Dong Wu clenched his fist, feeling that one punch could break the space and smash Xing Yu. But soon, Dong Wu's expression changed wildly, and he quickly opened his posture to practice the eighth level of Longxiang Boruo Gong. Because at that moment, he felt that Longxiang Boruo Gong could no longer be suppressed and had to break through. In fact, the moment the 36th acupuncture point was opened, he entered the eighth level of Longxiang Boruo Gong. But at that time, because the Tiangong acupuncture point was transforming the physical body, there was no time. And now, the eighth level of Longxiang Boruo Gong, Longxiang Boruo. Boruo, transliterated from Sanskrit, means all great wisdom. Dragon Elephant Boruo means that you have begun to truly realize the true meaning of Dragon Elephant. The dragon is brave and the elephant is fearless. Brave and invincible, fearless. With the achievement of the eighth level of Longxiang Boruo Gong, Dong Wu himself changed once. The 36 Tiangong acupuncture points were used to transform the physical body before, but this time, the bloodline was started to be cleansed. Let your bloodline evolve and reach a higher level. Dong Wu's bloodline became more perfect under the transformation of the 8th level dragon elephant Bo Ruo Gong. The blood in the body has also undergone a slight change. Wisps of grass green energy are produced from the blood, and gradually replace the golden energy in his own strength. Super Saiyan Power and Chuan Super Saiyan Power Dong Wu felt the violence and tyranny of this power, as well as the unyielding and firmness of the golden power. Very confident, these two forces are Chuan Chao and Super Saiyan respectively. Saiyan is so majestic and overwhelming that it crushes everything and is unparalleled in its domineering power. Super Saiyan is an ordinary Saiyan who achieves the transformation effect through unremitting struggle and firm and persevering will. Although not as domineering as Chuan Chao, he has a persevering will. The power of Super Saiyan has been generated, which means that I was about to transform into Super Saiyan. But now, bloodline evolution has given birth to Super Saiyan power, so I can perform Super Saiyan transformation. However, the power of Super Saiyan will be replaced. If you are an ordinary person, you may think that Chuan Chao is more powerful, so you will replace it. But Dong Wu doesn't think so. Its existence is reasonable, and the existence of Super Saiyan naturally has its advantages. Never admit defeat and always move forward. I'll try to see if I confuse the two powers. Dong Wu used the mysterious cycle of the eighth layer of Dragon Elephant Boruo Gong and Tiangong Acupoint to forcefully pull the two energies into it. However, the two forces that were originally fighting to the death began to act independently and have their own way. However, this method did not last long. Under the influence of Tiangong Acupoint and Longxiang Boruo Gong, 
the two forces had to be fused together to cope with the assimilation of Tiangong Acupoint and Longxiang Boruo Gong. It formed a strange golden green power. Sure enough it happened. Dong Wu was excited. He didn't feel that this golden green energy was more powerful, but he knew that he made the right choice. The mysterious Super Saiyan energy has appeared. As long as you practice step by step, you will soon be able to transform into a mysterious Super Saiyan. Dong Wu thought happily. This strange power that is the fusion of two superpowers is called the mysterious superpower by Dong Wu. His future transformation is what he also calls his mysterious Super Sailor transformation. Although he speculates that Super Saiyan is just a means, a means to break out the battle and break the shackles, he can also continue to improve by practicing the Dragon Elephant Wave art. However, this is always the obsession of every Dragon Ball fan. Moreover, it is not yet certain whether it is him or not. If you guess wrong and you can't transform into a super game, you will suffer a big loss. Okay, I feel more comfortable than ever before. Dong Wu was extremely excited. This kind of relief, which had been suppressed for more than 10 years and then released, would never be understood unless he had experienced it. For more than 10 years, Frieza has been like a mountain weighing on his head. Now that he is about to transform into a super sailor, Frieza can no longer threaten him. This comfort can be imagined. It's almost time. As long as I transform into Super Saiyan, Frieza and his son will not be my opponents. Dong Wu was absolutely confident. Because his current combat power, if I feel right, is at least 25 million. Coupled with the strength of the physical body and the special nature of harmony. Dong Wu is confident that even with 30 million combat power, he may not be his opponent. If you can transform into a Super Saiyan, even an ordinary Super Saiyan will have a combat power of 1.25 billion. If it's a super transformation, that's 2.5 billion. How does Frieza's 1.2 billion compare? However, we have to keep a low profile for a while now. Although he is very close to his transformation, he has not yet transformed. He is no match for Frieza yet. After picking all the spiritual tree fruits and taking away the seeds, Dongwu started the spacecraft and left the uninhabited planet that had been sucked dry. On the spaceship, Dongwu looked at the spiritual tree fruits one by one and felt very happy. With these fruits, I wonder how many acupuncture points can be opened. The first time I opened more than 20 points each, I don't know how effective it will be later. However, since the fruits of the spirit tree contain such sufficient vitality, even if the acupuncture points are not opened, they will be absorbed to replenish the vitality. It is also good to nourish the midfield. After Dong Wu transformed and practiced the 8th level of Dragon Elephant Bo Ruo Gong, he did not return to the earth immediately. Instead, he refined the fruits of the spirit tree to open acupuncture points. However, with Dong Wu's physical fitness and the level of Longxiang Bo Ruo Gong, there is an upper limit to the acupuncture points that can be opened. After the 36 acupuncture points were opened again, they could no longer be opened. Eating the fruits of the spirit tree will only accumulate vitality or dissipate it. We can only go here, the others cannot be opened for the time being. When Dong Wu opened the last acupuncture point, he used eight spirit tree fruits. The reason why I use it so much is not because this acupuncture point is too strong, but because my body has reached its limit. I found a few more uninhabited planets and harvested a batch of spiritual tree fruits. It took Dong Wu nearly a year to return to Earth. Although Dong Wu does not need the spirit tree fruit for the time being, there are still several mouths on the earth. Now there are 72 Dong Wu acupoints opened, but it is not that the earthly evil has been perfected, because 36 of them are Tiangong acupoints. But even so, Dong Wu's strength has greatly increased, reaching a terrifying combat power of 40 million. 40 million combat power, even if Frieza releases 50% of his power, I can still compete with him. Of course, I may have to suffer a small loss, but it won't be one-sided. Frieza's 50% power is about 60 million. With 40 million versus 60 million, it would be great not to be crushed, let alone to be able to compete. Moreover, the golden green energy of the mysterious Super Saiyan in the body is getting stronger and stronger. Dong Wu could feel that he was just about to reach the goal. As long as he stepped forward, he would see a new world, and he could complete the mysterious super game transformation. But even with this last step, Dong Wu still couldn't get in. Earth, I'm back again. I wonder how Lele, 
Yuyu, fourth sister Dong Wu, Bobby, third brother Dong Wu, and Cassio, second brother Dong Wu, are doing. Although Dong Wu is not very close to Parrot and Zelia, he still dotes on his younger brothers and sisters. Especially Dong Le and Dong Yu, they are really loved to no end. It is said that the daughter is the lover of the father in his previous life, and the father can pamper his daughter to heaven. But in Dong Wu's opinion, being an older brother is not much better. You can tell from the surnames Lele, Yuyu and Dong Wu. Poppy and Cassio, however, were not so lucky. Like other Saiyan, he doesn't even have a last name. At home, Cassio and Bobby are both afraid of Dong Wu, but Dong Yu is not afraid at all and is even very attached to him. All look for it, because Dong Le and a few little guys often go around to practice, they can't find anyone if they go home directly. I found it. It's at the Turtle Fairy House. Feeling the position of several people, Dong Wu smiled unscrupulously. With these little guys, Master Roshi is unlucky. Dong Leek has been naughty and mischievous since he was a child, and tortured Master Roshi endlessly. And Dong Yu learned from Dong La, and was even more favored. Lawlessness arose, and neither Parrot nor Celia could control her. However, the strength has increased a lot. Dong Wu is quite satisfied with this, because none of the little guys are lazy. The second brother Cassio is nine years old this year and already has a fighting strength of 6,000. In the old planet Vegeta, he was definitely considered a genius. The third eldest brother, Bobby, is only six years old this year, but his combat power is higher than that of the second eldest brother, Cassio, with a total of 7,000. As for Dong Yu, this naughty little girl is only in her early 1,000 years. After all, he is still young, only four years old. The martial arts of the three little guys were taught by Dong La, while the basic and theoretical knowledge of martial arts were taught by Master Roshi, Miao Xian and Shen Xian, and Bobo. It can be said that I am uniquely endowed with a very solid foundation. You guys, are you naughty again? Soon Dong Wu arrived at Guixianwu, but seeing the scene in front of him, Dong Wu's nose became crooked. Angry and funny at the same time. Several little guys actually ganged up to bully Klin. At this time, Krillin and Son Goku had just become Master Roshi's disciples. How could they be the opponents of these troublemakers? Even Master Roshi is just a little stronger than Dong Yu at this time. Big Brother is back. Dong Yu, who was bullying Lin, heard Dong Li's voice and immediately cheered and got into Dong Wu's arms. Dong Li also looked at Dong Wu, while Cassio and Poppy were so frightened that they quickly got up and hid away. Brother, when you came back, did you bring a gift for the lovely Yuyu? Dong Yu was indeed taught by Dong La, with the same coquettish look in her eyes. Hope is tinged with pity. Moreover, quite narcissistic. However, Dong Wu is 17 years old this year, and he really has nothing to do with his four-year-old sister. He touched Dong Yu's little head and said with a smile, yes, how could there be no gift for the lovely Yuyu? As he said that, he took out a few spirit tree fruits. A rich fruity aroma with traces of vitality emanates from the fruit. This is the fruit of the spiritual tree. Come, 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 one for each person. Cassio, Poppy, Dong La, Dong Yu, Sun Goku, Krillin and Master Roshi all have one. This fruit contains sufficient vitality. Eating it will not only enhance your strength, but also replenish your vitality and maintain your youth. After eating the fruit, practice martial arts quickly. They don't have the martial arts and acupuncture theory of China in the original world, so they can't understand it even if they rush to the acupuncture points. We can only let them practice step by step. Anyway, it is all external skills and there is no chance of going crazy. Sure enough, after eating the fruit, everyone felt a huge energy impacting their bodies. Wow, it's delicious, I want more. Because Dong Yu was too young, she only thought it was delicious and didn't care about the benefits at all. Dong Wu was angry and funny. He patted her little head and said, with your strength, you can only eat one at most. Hurry up and practice. Dong Yu got down from Dong Wu's arms and started practicing like his elder brothers and sisters. The one who digested it the fastest was Dong La. After all, she is the strongest and has the best physical fitness. It was completely digested in half an hour. Because Dong La didn't know how to charge acupuncture points, he just tried his best to use his energy to improve his strength, so the growth was relatively large. With one fruit, Dong Le increased his combat power by nearly 100,000. 
Of course, the biggest advantage is that a large amount of vitality is hidden in the body, although 80% of it is still dissipated. And after eating the fruit of the spirit tree, Dongle exudes a feeling of holiness. Not bad, 4.8 million combat power. Dong Wu was quite satisfied with Dong Li's combat power. Afterwards, others gradually digested and absorbed it, but what Dong Wu didn't expect was that the second person to absorb it was not the stronger Poppy, but Master Roshi. At this time, Master Roshi seemed to be 20 years younger, and his strength suddenly increased from 2000 to 10,000. You know, with the physical potential of people on Earth, it is difficult to achieve a combat power of 10,000, not to mention that Master Roshi is already so old. Sure enough, as a first-generation master, Master Roshi's understanding of martial arts is almost unparalleled. Dong Wu could only say this. Then Poppy, Cassio, Sun Goku, Dong Yu and Klin were also absorbed one after another. The combat effectiveness has more or less increased significantly. Poppy's combat power increased to 20,000, Cassio increased to 15,000, Sun Goku increased to 8,000, and even Krillin also had 4,000 combat power. As for Dong Yu, Dong Wu could only say helplessly that this girl was spoiled. It looked like he was practicing martial arts, but in fact he was in Sao's camp and his heart was in Han, so he didn't take it to heart at all. One fruit only increased his combat power by 2,000 points, barely reaching 3,005, which was now not as good as Krillin's. It completely evaporated freely. If Turles found out, he would definitely call her a prodigal. However, this girl looked at Dong Wu eagerly. That eager little look clearly says, I still want to eat. However, it was impossible for Dong Wu to give it to her again. Nothing is too much. In Dong Yu's current state, one pill is completely enough. Ignoring Dong Yu's pitiful eyes, Dong Wu stared at Dong Le with glasses. Because he felt that there was an extremely strong force in Dong Li's body, like a trapped beast that was about to awaken. Just waiting for the gate to open, it will break through the restraints and be wildly released. It seems that Lele is about to transform. Having experienced the super match and the super energy fusion, Dong Wu is still relatively sensitive to comparison. In that case, let's let you work hard. Simply, Dong Wu gave Dong Le another spiritual tree fruit. Prepare to let Dong Le transform into a super saiyan in one go, so that Frieza will no longer be a threat at all. Dong Le now has a combat power of 4.8 million, and if he eats another fruit, he will have a combat power of nearly 5 million. If he transformed into a super sailor, he would have 250 million combat power, and Frieza would be a perfect match. Of course, Kurds and Cooler can't beat them yet. However, after transforming into a Super Saiyan, there will be a period of normal combat effectiveness. In the original work, Son Goku's 3 million combat power turned into a Super Saiyan. A year later, his Super Saiyan state actually had 500 million combat power. In other words, the normal combat strength increased from 3 million to 10 million in one year. This is still Son Goku learning instant transmission on the planet Adrat, and he does not put training as the main priority. Vegeta, on the other hand, has 500 million combat power in his transformation. After two years of training in the spiritual time house, he directly had a combat power of close to 5 billion. This kind of increase is too terrifying. I believe that even if Dongla does not have such an abnormal growth rate, it will not be much different. Good. Dongla also knew about the Super Saiyan transformation and felt the violent beast-like power in his body. He took the fruit of the spirit tree and swallowed it directly, and then guided the power within his body. Unfortunately, Dongla did not complete the transformation until the fruit of the spirit tree ran out of power. What's going on? Why, I've obviously felt it and it's just a little bit close, why can't I break through? Dongla was a little anxious and angry. Angry, yes, anger. Dong Wu also frowned at first, but seeing the angry Dongla, Dong Wu instantly remembered anger. In the original, except for Trunks and Goten, including Son Goku and Vegeta both transformed under extreme anger, and Son Gohan also transformed under extreme fear. Therefore, in general, for Saiyan to transform into a Super Saiyan, in addition to reaching his own ultimate fighting power, he also needs extreme emotional changes as guidance. But Dong Le lacks this ultimate emotion. Lele, angry, what you need now is anger. Use anger to guide your power, and you can transform into Super Saiyan. Dong Wu said hurriedly. 
Now Dong Le is angry, but the anger is not enough. Angry, I'm very angry right now. Just a little bit, I don't believe I can't change. Ah, Dong Le uses himself to guide his emotions, and then uses his emotions to guide the power of the super race. Sure enough, Dong Li's body began to shine golden, but his hair had not yet turned golden. This state is called the Mimic Super Game. As long as you take one step further, you can completely transform into a super race. Lele, think about Puo Xing, think about the tragic death of the Wind Wing Martial Saint. If you can't transform into Super Saiyan, then I, you, you and even the entire Earth will die. No, Dong Wu's guidance was effective. Dong Le broke through the final hurdle and his hair turned golden in an instant. The tough and majestic golden arrogance spurting out, and the calm and cruel face clearly indicate Dong Li's state. Super Saiyan, finally transformed. Dong Wu also breathed a sigh of relief. Dong Li's arrogance was soaring into the sky at this time, and his powerful power was rampant. His blonde hair and stern face are intimidating. Ha 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 ha, I finally transformed into a Super Saiyan. I am the best in the world. Dong Le transformed into a Super Saiyan and suddenly became arrogant. With his hands on his waist, he looked up at the sky at a 45-degree angle, with an expression of invincible loneliness. Seeing Dong Li's arrogant look, Dong Wu covered his face. A little kid dares to call me, mother. Dong Wu felt that Dong Le was really spoiled by him. But the reminder still needs to be reminded. Hey, Lele, understand the Super Saiyan transformation well, and you can master it as you wish in the future. When Toriku transforms into Super Saiyan, Frieza is no longer a threat. But in addition to being happy and relaxed, Dong Wu also had some regrets. Dong Le only had six points of combat power when he was born, which was a little stronger than Zan Wuja. He really only had one point. Even though he has been practicing the martial arts taught by him for so many years, Tezu Chengquan. But he still can't catch up with Vegeta in terms of qualifications. The reason for this situation, Dong Wu guessed, is that Dong Le has not been able to practice to a high level, and he still can't control the light and dark as he wishes, let alone reach perfection. In the original Earth, martial arts had the Ming Jin stage of increasing strength, the Dark Jin stage of light and dark coming from the heart, and the Hua Jin stage of superb transformation. In fact, and Jin and Hua Jin are not necessarily stronger than Ming Jin in terms of strength, but their body optimization is higher. Moreover, the control of strength is more advanced. Do whatever you want and be superb. Obviously, Dong Le didn't even enter Anjin. Of course, this is also related to the concept that the Dragon Ball world only pursues power. Dong Le, on the other hand, does not understand the development of acupuncture points. Dong Wu has such a high basic combat effectiveness, which largely relies on the activation of 72 acupuncture points and the optimization of the body by Longxiang Boruo Gong. However, Dong Le will soon enter a period of explosive fighting power. With the deepening of Tezu Chengquan training, his qualifications will also be better. Thinking of this, Dong Wu stopped worrying. Besides, who has worse qualifications than Sun Goku? It is born with only two combat points. Although potential does not necessarily equal qualifications, good qualifications generally have greater potential than poor qualifications. But, Son Goku has been making great progress, all the way to the first place in the universe. With unremitting efforts, continuous breaking of limits, and appropriate methods, qualifications are not absolute. Ha ha ha, I am a genius and have mastered the secret of transformation. Brother, let's have a fight. Dong Le said arrogantly. Dong Wu has always been the eldest brother. For so many years, I didn't have to worry about almost anything. No matter what happens, Dong Wu arranges it well. But she has always had a wish, that is, not to let Dong Wu worry about herself. Now that she has transformed into Super Saiyan, she can finally take care of her big brother. I believe someone can understand this feeling. However, Saiyan is Saiyan. The way of expression is different, speaking directly with fists. Okay, let me see how powerful Super Saiyan is. Dong Wu did not refuse, he also wanted to know how strong Super Saiyan was. Although the combat power statistics were quite different, he wanted to experience the specialness of Super Saiyan. Bang, no nonsense, Dong Le punched Dong Wu the moment Dong Wu agreed. The speed was so fast that no one except Dong Wu reacted. However, the punch was still blocked, and the ground suddenly cracked and shattered. 
This was the reason why both of them concentrated their energy on their fists and did not burst out. Otherwise, the earth will set off fireworks as I write this. Even so, the ground has suffered severe damage and is beyond recognition. Okay, come on. Dong Wu was repelled, but the blood in his body was boiling. He flew towards Dong La, but Dong La was not to be outdone. The two men fought together again, and the fight was very fierce. Intense flashes of light and sonic booms continued to erupt in the sky. The earth trembled, and the clouds were completely washed away. Bang bang bang. The speed of the two was so fast that those present could not catch even a single shadow except for the sound they heard and the flashes of light they produced when they fought each other. Bang. Dong Wu flew out of the battle circle, one of his eyes was already black. Hiss, it hurts. Dong Wu covered his eyes and grinned like a belt. Ever since he was young, Dong Le was the first one to crush him in all aspects. However, Dong Le did not use all his strength, but only used about the same power as him. But even so Dong Wu is no match. Ultimate calmness, the same instinctive reaction to defense and attack. Dong Wu finally knows why Super Saiyan can become the god of war in Saiyan. It stands to reason that Dong Le has not fought many battles since he was a child and has relatively little experience. In a normal battle, Dong Wu is confident that his combat power is 10% lower than Dong Li's and he can defeat her. However, after transforming into Super Saiyan, he still lacks combat experience. However, relying on his calmness and almost instinctive reaction, Dong Wu is no match for the same combat power. Of course, this is also related to the fact that Super Saiyan's senses have become sharper and his reaction speed has become faster. Come again. It's not easy to have such an opponent, and Dong Wu certainly doesn't want it to end like this. And Dong La, she is more willing to torture Dong Wu. You must know that she has been bullied, disciplined and restrained by Dong Wu since she was a child. Okay. Dong La laughed happily and fought with Dong Wu again. Bang bang bang, bang. Ah, Dong Wu flew out again, this time with his face. Dong Wu's face turned dark, this time he was angry. Xiao Lei Lei, you want to rebel? let me suppress you. Dong Wu's face was grim, but the outcome did not change much. He was still beaten brutally. He soared into the sky again and again, and was knocked down again and again. And every time it becomes more miserable. The first time the eye circle was dark, the second time the face was swollen, the third time the other eye was black again. In short, no matter how miserable it is, he has never been so miserable. Ha ha ha, Dong Wu, Let's see if you still dare to bully me. Do you still want to suppress me? Watch me suppress you and let you know how powerful I am. Dong Lefe was flying in the sky, looking at Dong Wu's ordinary beggar-like clothes. The miserable face suddenly burst into laughter. You stinky girl, you've really rebelled against me. Come down here. Dong Wu stood on the ground, his face as dark as the bottom of a pot. Half were beaten, half were angry. This girl is too arrogant and needs to be educated. However, I can't beat him now, so I can only use my brother's majesty. However, now this honorable and majestic expression has become funny. However, Dong Le really didn't dare not listen. Seeing my brother trembling with anger, he had no choice but to come down obediently. Okay, you have gone against the grain. You still want to suppress me. See if I don't deal with you today. Dong Wu pulled Dong Li's ears, which made him angry. But looking at Dong Li's pitiful expression, Dong Wu was instantly speechless. Do you want this? You are 17 years old and you are still acting pitiful. Thinking of age, Dong Wu suddenly realized that Lele Le had grown up and was a big girl at the age of 17. From now on, I really can't pull my ears easily. After all, a girl of this age has a sense of shame, and she will feel humiliated if she is disciplined like this. Thinking of this, Dong Wu let go of his hand. Oh, I didn't expect that Lele would grow up in a blink of an eye. Thinking of the little baby before, time flies so fast. With a sigh, Dong Wu shook his head and stopped teaching Dong La. Back home, Parrot and Celia are practicing in the gravity room. After so many years, the combat effectiveness of Parrot and Celia has also been greatly improved. Now Parrot has a fighting strength of 500,000, and Zillia also has a fighting strength of nearly 400,000. But compared to transforming into Super Saiyan, it's still far away. 
I don't know if it was because I just fought blindly without practicing before, causing my potential to be exhausted. Or for some other reason, their strength growth rate is much slower than that of Dong Le. Even after breaking through the limit of 100,000 combat power, the period of combat power explosion was only similar to Dong Li's normal period. Now more than 10 years have passed, and the combat power has only increased from close to 10,000 to 4 to 50,000. This is the fruit of the spirit tree. It can enhance combat effectiveness and replenish lost vitality. It should be of great help to you. Dong Wu gave each of them two spirit tree fruits to replenish their energy first. As for improving combat effectiveness, in Dong Wu's opinion, it is really secondary. If you don't lose your vitality, with Saiyan's talent, and have a suitable method to practice hard, that little fighting power won't matter at all. Saiyan's combat effectiveness will grow faster and faster as his strength increases. The fruit of the spirit tree. It's said to be a fruit that only gods can eat. Parrot is, after all, older and has been fighting in the universe for many years, so he still has a wide range of knowledge. Yes, you guys try it first. If it's not enough, then come to me. Dong Wu said and walked out. Now that the stress is gone, Dong Wu can relax and relax. For more than 10 years, Dong Wu has been working hard all the time and forcing himself to practice every moment. With Dong Le transforming into Super Saiyan, Dong Wu can relax for a while. Of course, Super Saiyan is not invincible. Compared with the androids that followed, Cell and Majin Buu are still far behind. But, at least it's okay for the time being. Let's study the power produced by the fusion of Chuan Chao and Chao Sai in the body. In fact, Dong Wu was also quite uneasy, although after fusion there was a sense of joy in making the right choice. But the specifics are still unknown. Can I still transform in the future? Since there is no reference and this situation is not mentioned in the original work, it is unknown to Dong Wu. And even if you can transform, what will you look like after transformation? What is the effect? This is also unknown. Now that you can finally relax, do some research. As for the outside world, with the eldest sister Dong Le taking the lead, these little guys have turned the world upside down. Being naughty and making fun of people everywhere. Moreover, the fighting power of several people is not low, especially Dong Le, the Super Saiyan. It's so love-hate. For example, yesterday, Dong Yu, a little boy, exploded a laboratory in Bulma's house, almost blowing up Bulma's house. Fortunately, there was no one in the laboratory, otherwise everyone inside would have died. When I came back, I was given a good lesson by Dong Wu. This time it was a real lesson. Otherwise, if we continue to be so lawless, we don't know how much trouble we will cause. Even Dong La, Cassio and Bobby were not spared. Now I'm fine, I'm going to practice with the gods. Time flies by in a blink of an eye. Apart from necessary training, Dong Wu spends most of his time in the mysterious energy of fusion, until one day. Xiao Wu is not well, Piccolo Daimao has escaped. The god sent a message to Dong Wu. Piccolo Daimao. Dong Wu was stunned, he had really forgotten about this guy. This is the first true opponent that Sun Goku has encountered. In the original work, he caused a lot of trouble to Dragon Ball Earth and Sun Goku. Even Sun Goku was crippled by him. If it hadn't exploded at the end, Dragon Ball would have ended early. But now, Dong Wu smiled disdainfully, not caring at all. The martial arts masters on Earth are not hundreds of years ago. A few hundred years ago, the most powerful martial arts master on Earth was Wu Taito, who only had a fighting strength of about 300. And now, not to mention other things, even Master Roshi can torture him every minute and teach him how to behave with just one finger. However, the gods and Bobo regained their youth and gained a lot of strength because of the spiritual tree fruit sent by Dong Wu. The fruit of the spirit tree is indeed a fruit that only gods can eat. Although gods are only the lowest gods, they are gods after all. Although Bobo does not have a divine status, as a servant of God, he can be regarded as a god. The divine position is equivalent to an official position, and the divine rank is equivalent to a title or honorary level. Official positions have specific authority, while titles only have corresponding treatment, but no specific power. One is a specific official, and the other is a hierarchical class. And no one knows how many years Bobo lived. Anyway, since the first god on earth, he has been the attendant of gods. Therefore, 
After eating the fruit of the spirit tree, the gods and Bobo were completely transformed. The combat power of the gods directly increased from a few hundred to a hundred thousand. And Bobo was even more terrifying, losing millions of combat power in an instant. Dong Wu couldn't believe his eyes. Moreover, according to Ji Yu Tianshan, although he does not have a divine status now, his divine rank is equivalent to that of a realm king. No wonder it is said that the fruit of the spirit tree is a fruit that only gods can eat. It turns out that it can improve the level of gods. Dong Wu was also surprised by the comparison. However, for mortals, they can only replenish their vitality and improve their strength. Now that both Tianshan and Bobo are so strong, are they still afraid of Piccolo Daimao, who has a combat power of about 300? Dong Wu was not involved, so let him go as things develop. Sure enough, within a few days the news spread that Piccolo Daimao had regained his youth and occupied the palace. But Dong Wu remained indifferent, and finally Sun Goku and Dong Yu went to join in the fun. I, Piccolo Daimao, am your ruler. From now on, I will rule the world and you. The army will be abolished and the law will be abolished. The earth will fall into the abyss of chaos and darkness. Unleash your inner demons. Piccolo Daimao is still dreaming about the devil, using television to spread his dark speeches. Then, there was no more, Piccolo vomited an egg, and he was not even qualified to report to the king of hell. He and the gods were originally one body, and after death, his soul returned directly to the gods. The second generation of Piccolo, the Piccolo Demon Boy, inherited his life and shared the same destiny with the gods. Today's Earth doesn't have a fighting force of more than 100,000 people, just to deliver food. Not to mention Dong Wu and others, even the gods have a fighting strength of 100,000. Bobo is even more powerful to a million, and with Master Roshi and Miao Shanran, the Earth is now definitely a dragon's pit and a tiger's den. Piccolo Daimao is also a tragedy. He was sealed by Wu Taito hundreds of years ago. After hundreds of years, he was finally released and regained his youth. But before he could realize his dream, he was stopped. Time is also destiny, so we can only blame him for being born in the wrong time. Piccolo Daimao died, but Piccolo, the second generation of the devil, was left behind. The world once again restored peace until the second generation of the devil was born. After Piccolo was born, he still wanted to seek revenge from Son Goku as in the original work, and participated in the 23rd Martial Arts Conference. However, Piccolo, who only had a fighting strength of about 300, was defeated without even a chance to fight back. I don't believe it. How could he be so strong? Piccolo felt as if the world had deceived him. You must know that hundreds of years ago, Piccolo was the strongest on the entire earth, and even the martial arts master had to seal it at the cost of his life. However, in just a few hundred years, the people on Earth were like riding a rocket, and their combat effectiveness increased rapidly. This, this is not scientific. In fact, without Dong Wu's participation, both Piccolo Daimao and the second generation Piccolo can stir up troubles. Unfortunately, the spread of Chinese martial arts and the emergence of spiritual tree fruits made Piccolo completely lose his temper. Piccolo, do you want to become stronger? Just when Piccolo was frustrated, Master Roshi appeared in front of him. Master Roshi is a lecherous person, but as a martial arts master. His inner kindness and profound cultivation cannot but be admired. He not only taught Sun Goku and Krillin, but also made Tian Shinhan correct his evil ways. Now, on the one hand, he doesn't want the earth to suffer anymore, and on the other hand, he also wants Piccolo to go on the right path. So, he found Piccolo. You, you are Wu Tian, Wu Taidu's apprentice and Sun Goku's master. Piccolo has everything of Piccolo Daimao, so he naturally knows the identity of Master Roshi. But he couldn't understand why Wu Tian, who was so weak and defenseless in his own hands hundreds of years ago, became so powerful. Yes, it's me, I fought with your father hundreds of years ago. However, the earth is no longer the original earth, Master Roshi said with emotion. Since Dong Wu arrived, Earth-shaking changes have taken place. The teaching of martial arts has greatly increased the strength of the people on Earth. Master Roshi himself has increased his combat power from more than a hundred to two thousand. Then, a spirit tree fruit gave him a combat power of ten thousand. Master Roshi felt a little unbelievable when he thought about his own changes. It is impossible to dominate the world now. 
but if you want to become stronger and become a martial artist, then, please come with me. After Master Roshi finished speaking, he turned and left. Piccolo thought for a while, seemed to have made some determination, gritted his teeth and followed. Master Roshi didn't walk very fast, so Piccolo easily kept up and followed Master Roshi slowly and silently. Looking at Piccolo following him, Master Roshi nodded silently and showed a knowing smile. The two walked a long way until they left the city and came to the suburbs. Piccolo, do you know how much the world has changed now? Master Roshi asked confusedly, but continued before Piccolo could answer. In terms of numbers, you have a combat power of 301. And I have 10,000. However, this is not the strongest combat power on earth, and it is not even among the top 10. Do you think you can still dominate the world? Quote. What? Piccolo was shocked. He knew that he was not Master Roshi's opponent now, but he didn't expect that the gap would be so big. Moreover, such a powerful Master Roshi is not even ranked among the top 10 on earth. What's happening to this earth? Is it because I can't lift the knife, or have everyone on earth taken dolly pills? Master Roshi really didn't lie. Now Dong Wu's family, including Dong Yu, are more powerful than Master Roshi. This family occupies seven places. Plus Tenjin, Bobo, Meowth, Sun Goku and Krillin. Yes, in the past few years, Sun Goku and Krillin have surpassed Master Roshi, and even Tian Shinhan is slowly approaching Master Roshi. Piccolo, if you want to become a martial artist, I can recommend you to go to several places. But you have to think carefully. Once you go, you will have no room for regrets. Where, Piccolo said impatiently, Piccolo is also very persistent in his strength. Knowing his own gap, he can't wait. Seeing Piccolo's reaction, Master Roshi smiled. One is a temple, I think you should know the location. The other is near Bowsy Mountain. In fact, Master Roshi is now fully qualified to teach Piccolo, but he feels that Piccolo has great potential and needs to receive better teaching. As for Tianshan and Dong Wu, is there anyone more suitable than them? Humph, God, what qualifications does he have to teach me? Piccolo snorted coldly. The gods and Piccolo are originally one, and the combat power of the gods is not higher than that of Piccolo. Moreover, the two of them had grievances, so it was strange that Piccolo was willing to go. Moreover, he did not think that God had the ability to teach him anything. Piccolo, you are wrong. Today's gods have a fighting strength of 100,000. It is very easy to teach you. What are you talking about? That old immortal guy actually has a fighting strength of 100,000. I don't believe it, Piccolo said angrily. No wonder, the two people are one person. When they were separated, the two people were about the same strength. However, now the other half actually has a fighting strength of 100,000, while he only has a few hundred. This is hard for anyone to accept. Since you don't want to go to the temple, then go to Baozi Mountain and find a man named Dong Wu. With him, your strength will improve quickly. Master Roshi also knew about Piccolo's grudges with the gods, so he didn't after trying to persuade him, he instead pointed the way to Dong Wu. Baozi Mountain, I will go. However, I don't believe that the gap between us will be so big, so I want to challenge you. Although Piccolo wanted to improve his combat effectiveness, he still had to give it a try. Master Roshi also knows that words alone are useless. Only when Piccolo can truly appreciate the difference will he be convinced. Master Roshi nodded. Okay, take action. Take the move, Demon Guang Guang Killing Cannon. Piccolo used his strongest move because he knew there was a gap between himself and Master Roshi and did not dare to look down upon him in the slightest. Ha, huh, why are the names of Dong Wu's moves so similar? In fact, Dong Wu's move names are really based on Piccolo's. Whether it is a crushing light kill cannon, a penetrating light kill cannon or a gravity light kill cannon, they are all named after Piccolo's magic piercing light kill cannon. Because Dong Wu thinks the name Guang Sha Pao is quite handsome. However, the difference in strength is just a difference. Even if Piccolo charges for a long time, it will still be useless. The demonic light killing cannon hit Master Roshi, but it had no effect except for the smoke. Did you see it? This is the gap. Go ahead and you will become stronger. Master Roshi patted his clothes, turned and left. Piccolo was left disheveled in the wind. Piccolo was confused and flew towards Bowsy Mountain without much hesitation. In other words, he didn't know how he got over it, and he was in chaos. 
When Piccolo arrived, Dong Wu was teaching Dong Le and the three little guys a lesson. Tell me, who dismantled my spaceship? Dong Wu is going crazy, these little guys are so noisy. It's okay to be naughty and mischievous at ordinary times. This time it went too far and the spacecraft was dismantled. When Dong Wu saw it, the spacecraft had died a heroic death and was torn apart. And Dong Yu, the little guy, was holding a part and trying to install it on the upper body. It was black and not as big as the part. Brother, I confess, it was all the second and third brothers who took it apart. You see, when you came here, I helped you put it back together. Don't worry, I have already taught you a lesson to the second and third brothers. Dong Yu pointed at Cassio and Bobby like a young adult, and while complaining, he also lectured, I told you, I won't let you touch Big Brother's spaceship, but you are disobedient. Now, let's see what you do. Quote. Not to mention, what this little guy said seems to make sense. But looking at Cassio and Bobby's expressions as if they had eaten shit, they knew that this little guy must have forcefully passed the blame. But what can they do? They are also desperate. Who doesn't know that Dong Yu is the little princess of the family, the baby? Okay, you stinky girl, you have the nerve to say it. You think I don't know, tell me, why do you want to dismantle my spaceship? Dong Wu looked at Dong Le and couldn't get angry even if he wanted to. Such a pistachio is loved by the whole family. Seeing that Dong Wu already knew, Dong Yu's big and lively eyes rolled around, and she went up to hold Dong Wu's arm and started acting coquettishly. Brother, I'm not a smelly girl. If you smell it, it smells good. Is this the key? Where do you focus your attention? Dong Wu was helpless and had given up hope. Okay, okay, we have guests. I'll let you go this time, but watch your butts next time. Dong Wu felt Piccolo's anger and waved his hand helplessly, and the matter was over. Are you the person Master Roshi asked me to find? Piccolo looked at the overly young Dong Wu and said with some disbelief. It's not that Piccolo doesn't believe in Master Roshi, but that Dong Wu is indeed too young. I don't know if Master Roshi asked you to come to me, but since you are here, it should be right. Dong Wu nodded, feeling very good about Piccolo. Although he is not strong enough now and has not yet become a warrior to protect the earth. However, he later changed his ways and became very intelligent. In the original work, all warriors have shortcomings of one kind or another. Sun Goku is naive. Vegeta is proud, not to mention Son Gohan. Both Krillin and Tian Shinhan also have some shortcomings. But Piccolo is not. Decisive, highly intelligent in combat, and will never do anything else when he has to do something. I want to be super strong, can you make me super strong? Piccolo asked. I have two ways to make you super strong, it depends on your choice. Dong Wu said. What's the meaning? If you want to be super strong immediately, I can make you super strong immediately. However, I will not teach you anything. The other thing is that as a real martial artist, I will teach you the super strong method, although it will be effective slow, but enough to last you a lifetime. Dong Wu raised his hand and gave Piccolo two choices, but he knew that Piccolo would definitely choose the second one. If Piccolo had chosen the first option, he would have kept his promise but would have been disappointed. Sure enough. Piccolo did not disappoint Dong Wu. After a little hesitation, I chose the second one. Well, since you chose the second one, I will teach you. After you learn it, you can choose to practice on your own, or you can go to Sun Goku. With the two of you competing, your strength should increase quickly. After Dong Wu finished speaking, he began to teach Piccolo martial arts. However, this set of martial arts is different from what others practice. Because Piccolo's body structure is different from that of ordinary people, and it is somewhat similar to certain characteristics of plants. Therefore, Dong Wu specially taught him a different kind of martial arts. This set of martial arts is called Aoki Kung Fu. You should watch it carefully. If you practice it regularly in the future, and with your own training, your strength will improve by leaps and bounds. Ching Mu Gong, based on the evergreen ancient wood, exercises the body's special structures and acupuncture points, allowing the body to not only enhance its strength but also extend its lifespan. Teach this set of martial arts to the gods later. After all, you are one, and you are both suitable for this set of martial arts. Dong Wu also wants to see what heights the combination of Tianshan and Piccolo will reach in the future as their strength has increased. Piccolo said nothing and followed Dong Wu silently. 
I have to say that Piccolo is also a genius, and he can learn it almost immediately after just one try. After learning it twice from Dong Wu, you can perform it perfectly. In addition, this is a spiritual tree fruit. Taking it when your Aoki Kong feeling slows down will have unexpected effects. After Dong Wu finished speaking, he gave Piccolo a spiritual tree fruit. Piccolo silently took the spirit tree fruit, and then settled temporarily near Bowsy Mountain. In the following time, Piccolo has been practicing hard. Piccolo is very hardworking and doesn't waste any time. If you don't understand anything, come and ask Dong Wu. Once you understand, you can practice silently alone. However, Piccolo is separated from the god after all, and is lacking in vitality. Although his strength growth is not slow, it is still lagging behind Son Goku. But Dong Wu didn't say anything. Piccolo's grudges with the gods were their own business. It is difficult for an upright official to deal with household affairs, not to mention that they are all the same person. Looking at Piccolo working hard, Dong Wu sighed. Piccolo, you should eat the fruit of the spirit tree first. It will replenish the vitality you lost when you were separated from the gods. Um, Piccolo nodded and ate the spirit tree fruit. He also knew that if one person's vitality was abruptly divided into two, the vitality would definitely be lost. Since he can make up for it, he still won't refuse. After taking the fruit of the spirit tree, Piccolo's combat power increased from 2,000 to 10,000, which is not a lot. But a lot has been added in terms of vitality. After all, he didn't have the status of a god like a god, so he didn't have the fortune of a god, and he couldn't grow to the strength of 100,000 at once. But Dong Wu knew that it was only a matter of time before Piccolo surpassed the gods. Piccolo, I have taught you everything I can teach you. From now on, you will have to work hard on your own. Hold this fruit and walk the rest of the way. Dong Wu saw Piccolo's hard work. In the original work, Piccolo also worked very hard. Dong Wu is very relieved about Piccolo. He often lamented that if the three little guys at home could work half as hard as Piccolo, he wouldn't have to worry about it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.